Hello everybody and welcome to Cyber Samurai Saturday. My name's Cory, I'm the Game Master, we're playing Legend of the Five Rings in the Palace of the Emerald Champion. Our players today, of course, as always, are Crystal playing Hida Nozome, Tarek playing Akoma Kage, Josh playing Shiba Inoue, and Matt playing Tagashi Tatsuo. Nobody remembers what we did last time. Why? Because Matt was out. <laughs> we skipped a, a friend week. Is we skipped the game. A, so a when we skip a game, nobody remembers. June. Very hard time for him and his family. We did a, so we, we did decided a, to hang out. We did a one-shot. We did a Pathfinder one-shot while he was away. And it was very fun. And Tarek, uh, he, he ran it for us. And it's on the channel. And you should watch it. Even though it's eight hours long. <laughs> really long it was a whole one shot all at once <laughs> and from what i heard he gave them multiple opportunities to say okay uh, let's end it right here but nope everyone wanted to keep playing everybody is it's how it works sometimes it's just how it works sometimes you can't not finish so let's do that's what, what she said <laughs> <I'd probably watch laughs> so um Let's do a little recap of what happened here in uh, Palace of the Emerald Champion. We're on day four of your training. Uh, you have already learned a whole bunch of uh, different Emerald Magistrate things, like how to use weapons and uh, how to use poisons and uh, a little bit about how to, um, how to do other things. I don't remember. <laughs> there was like some sword investigation. Stuff. How to do investigations? And sadly, also getting my butt whoop uh, dur uh, during a brawl. Not like I wanted to. <sighs> but that is right, secondary. Is there a point system? Hmm. Is there a point system? Yeah, for like graduating into magistratehood. Yeah, but you don't know what it is. Okay. Cool. <laughs> oh, so only the game master knows. There is one other thing. Uh, a very important thing that's happening. Uh -oh. The Emerald Magistrate, who is basically like the director of the FBI for all of the Samurais, uh, is dead. And you guys have been investigating his death. And you've been doing it uh, quietly. You've been, you've been keeping it on the down low. And there's possible. something about chickens and something about poison and something about his family and something about this uh, group of people known as the Kolod. So we know about Chicken Boo. Don't try and to yes. bad grain. He's not a samurai. That's not a samurai. It's a chicken, I tell ya. A chicken. It's a chicken, Boo. The we we wouldn't sword. know. He wouldn't know. We wouldn't know he <laughs> wasn't actually a samurai a until time. we wouldn't know. I can't hear you, Corey. Can you, play, can you repeat that? Yeah, we wouldn't know he's an actual samurai until his kimono falls off and he starts pecking the ground. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I could just imagine Chicken Boo with like a jingasa and like a kimono and a sword on his side. What In fact, that's the, that's the exact description of the woman who stole my eye. <laughs> <laughs> I got my eye taken by a Chicken Boo. By Chicken Boo. <laughs> But um, very close enough to a Tengu. So here is the palace that everybody's in. And you're in your quarters as the sun rises on the fourth day. No pressure. I, 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 I wake up kind of disturbed. You look out the window and you see a bunch of crane samurai in the courtyard down below. I, I feel mm. even more disturbed now. Not just training, I guess. No, no. <laughs> it looks like some sort of entourage of somebody. Mm. I look for I look for Mons. Is there a, 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 a Sashimono that would give me a hint as to who they are escorting? You know what? Um, you can't tell who they are, like, from their kimonos. It's way too far away. But you do see some flags. And the flags have the Crane Clan Mon on it and nothing else. So big, big official. Big official. Uh, yeah. Naru maybe? I'm 
could possibly be his daughter. Uh, that's Utaru. Uh, by the way, Corey has uh has the uh, the Lion Clan's champion already been killed? I don't know. That's that's outside the purview of this adventure. <laughs> um, okay. The things that are happening is uh, the crane and the lion are fighting over Toshi Rambo. Okay, well, yeah, that's the that's where Arasu dies. So that's why I was wondering if it already happened yet or not. If they're just starting the war or if it's already like midway through. Really doesn't say much about that. Okie dokie, just wanted to know whether or not I should be super pissed at, at uh, Hotaru or not. Yeah, the lion and the crane are in conflict due to the dispute over which clan should possess Toshi Rambo. Um, the crane and crab are upset at each other, the crab and the dragon. Uh, I'll the just assume that if it's already happened that I don't know about it yet. <laughs> and the lion and the unicorn. And of course, nobody trusts the scorpion. Because fuck those guys. As well they shouldn't. <laughs> screw screw the scorpion. Never trust a scorpion. But it's for the greater good. They'll poison you in your back. <laughs> poison you in your back. <laughs> My back's been poisoned. <laughs> ah! <laughs> if I feel burning. Ah, at least the back hairs are getting uh are getting taken care of. Ugh. I wanted those back hairs. All right, I guess we're going out to the courtyard to see what all the hubbub is about. Yeah. Okay. And, yeah, might and as head well. to our class, which is our class in the breakfast. library. Well, first it's breakfast. There's a lot, right? Breakfast. Well, yeah, but we got to go through the courtyard to get to the breakfast place. I thought you were about to say breakfast club. I'm like, oh my the, god. The breakfast <laughs> palace. We just do our little dance on a crowd. <laughs> in order to get to Shoney's, we must go through. <laughs> So y'all go down where the uh, there's a large entourage of crane who are basically standing at attention. So they're chill people. They're nah, they're not chill people. <laughs> they look like they got a job to do. Ah, yep. That's fair. So you go on up to the uh, kitchen, to the dining hall. To have breakfast, as you do every morning. And I want to hear what the scuttlebutt everyone is. Everyone is talking about an unexpected visit from Doji Hataru, the Clarion Clan champion, and the eldest daughter of the late Doji Satsume. <clears throat> I can't say I'm surprised that it's her. Oh, where are my notes? Give me a second, I need to bring out my notes here. Everyone notes. <laughs> yeah, really, man. I don't remember what exactly it was we did before we went to bed. <laughs> I found a thing and then but I got questioned by a guy. Somebody was going to check the grain and somebody was going to check the chickens or something like that. Yeah, and you guys got into a little kerfuffle and me and Kage went to go the granary. Check out the, yeah, the granary found a little secret compartment thing, whatever. Yeah, and then on our way back, I was I figured out that we were being trailed, so I told uh, the Sheba to cheese it, and then <laughs> I Jesus. confronted the man who was uh, who was tailing me, and he had a lot of interesting things to say, a lot of interesting questions for me. Crystal, you don't understand. Cheese it and L five R for me and Tarek go way back, years <laughs> and years. Cheese, it's just a funny thing to say <laughs> in general. Cheese it. <laughs> we've, been, we've been cheesing it in L5R for a long time. Whenever or we're in trouble. Of cheesing. <laughs> oh, I was about to also, say cheese. Also, Cheez Its like, are delicious. <laughs> they are. Several magistrates, Tarek Cheez It. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's the fuzz. <laughs> cheese It. You know we're lactose intolerant. Stop <laughs> running. <laughs> Tofu it? <laughs> mm -mm. Would that be more appropriate? I got a soy intolerance. <laughs> yeah, so do I. It sucks. Especially when every restaurant I mean... fries their food with soy and then I start feeling my skin itching and then oh, I actually my throat don't actually have a, a soy intolerance. I was just being facetious. Oh, well, <laughs> I'm not. But now I'm we know that soup. about Matt. 
Yes, we've learned something today. We know if we'd like to make him itchy and farty, give him uh, milk and pork. And, uh, and also, it actually kind of puts me through anaphylactic shock, so please don't. Oh, that's called an okay. allergy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's why I carry these with me. Benadryl. Benadryl? I used yep. to carry a... Uh, <laughs> Uh, EpiPens with me all the time. We have a game we're trying to do here. Yeah, yeah. guys, How let's not talk about we're, our we're personal allergic. problems. We have a lot of allergies. Uh, nice to meet you guys. Tell yeah. us about your allergies. What, what are you doing <laughs> out there? <laughs> yeah. YouTube audience. <laughs> are you sitting around eating cheese despite the fact that it makes you itch? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll ask a doctor for you, but don't <laughs> guarantee any results. I blame Corey for this one. So there's a whole bunch of uh, people eating breakfast, talking about wanna, Mataru. I want to know what the, the scuttlebutt is. I want to listen in. Yeah, me too. Bubbly. I'm listening in. I'll okay. Keep an open ear. <laughs> well, um, y'all want to make a a courtesy roll here? I guess I do. If you're just kind of overhearing, uh, yeah, that's like a air, charm thing to kind of my idea. The information out. Just listening and bleh, if you're gonna, just overhearing. You can, you can charm them to yeah. If you're gonna engage in them, you can do that. Or you could. I thought you were just gonna overhear somebody, which would have been air. If you just wanted to kind of like. Well, no, I want to train your myself okay. to the possibility of hearing some pivotal information. I mean, are you listening to spirits or? <laughs> well, they I are spirits within flesh bodies. I think that's a stretch. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna engage in the in the rumor mill um, because I'm a courtier and that's what I do. Okay. That's what for me. I'm just eavesdropping. I got one success. I got two successes and an opportunity, all of which I will keep. I guess I'll charm my way through it. And I'm going to use that stretch. <laughs> <laughs> I will also. You're I not will, enlightening people. Oh, I'm, gonna take away, I'm enlightening uh, myself. That, that, that's not how that works. That's how it always works. <laughs> no, no, sorry for the claps. I was trying to get rid of a gnat. Not very monk like. Not how it works. <laughs> All right. So, um, everybody who made one success, um, yeah. Um, <clears throat> people are concerned that she's here because uh, she and Satsume didn't get along very well. So well, we already knew that much. They're wondering why she's here and why she cares at all. It's suspicious that she cares at all about this stuff. Um anybody who made two successes knows that uh two or more successes knows that people are talking about her close connections to the Scorpion clan and how she treats Scorpion very well. Like, it seems like she actually trusts Scorpion and people are kind of upset so about that. So she's foolish and wanting to die. <laughs> <laughs> and those of you who have an opportunity on top of it, notice that the crane themselves seem to be very upset about this. And they I believe that. that she is that she might be conspiring with the scorpion for some reason. <gasps> it's, so rich. it's so rich, rich and delicious, <laughs> like chocolate mousse. Mm. Goes great with breakfast. <laughs> Are you filled? Just, mm. <laughs> no, not even. I have a, I have a bottomless pit of hunger for all the crane <laughs> juicy gossip. I, my mm. I don't know if you can tell, but my character is not a fan of the crane clan. <laughs> I can tell. I'll tolerate an individual, but the clan as a whole is, you know, take it or leave it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, uh, 
that's breakfast. That's what happens. Mm. Okay. So I'm now need it's, a nap after all it's of this class delicious, time, delicious huh? Yep, it's time to go to class. And the final day of training is in the Room of Law. Get out the map. All right. Hold on, Crystal likes to uh, Crystal likes to sneak peeks at my adventure, so I always have to put up this uh, this screen hey, over here. Hey, I don't line. do it on purpose. When the book is less than a foot away from me, it's kind of hard not to see it. Oh, my wandering eye. Especially when I think I'm looking up a rule, but he has it on like the quest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that's who Junzo is. So while Cory is taking I care have of that, never like, seen anything of you. Uh, guest uh, trying to get into my room, so give me a sec. Do you know who Yogo Junzo is, Crystal? No. He's a very not good guy. And he's Scorpion. He's a very not good guy. <laughs> I was going to say I guess you know who this is cuz like you know everything about the lore. I, I just used to read a lot of L5R stuff. Uh -huh. It used to be really well written. So I used to I love read... it. I did read the first story in these. They're good. I, I've Now I've read enough of them where I'm feeling more and more comfortable with the writing style and the new kind of versions of the characterizations that they give. And I'm liking it so far. The lion one is brutal, though. So it is... <laughs> it, it hurt my heart for a minute. I was just like, oh... <laughs> Uh-oh. They retold the tale, and it's even more sad now. Uh-oh. I don't know where I'm at, wait. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, if y'all are interested, Matt and Josh, there is a, a free oh. online... Uh, there's a free set of stories online you can download called The First Scrolls. Oh, here it is. Mm -hmm. um, and it is all the new lore from each clan's perspective. There's a story for each clan in the, in the, the, the section. In the in that collection, Discord link me. Uh, I think I can actually send it to you on Discord. I have I it downloaded. Let me see if I can words. add a file. Like in the mirror. <laughs> All right, I have it now. The Where room of law. Book, yep, there you are. There you go. Is over here. And that's where what are you, you are. Doing? I'm trying to welcome you onto the table. So after breakfast, you move. Uh, it is now in the Discord. To the other side of the palace, to the room Thank of you. law. And once there, um, you see the instructor, Mia Katsumi. Ah, the humblest of the Imperial families. She is a finely dressed samurai, yes. She is the oh, Ruby mind. Law instructor. Oh, she's the law instructor for the entire Ruby dojo. Yes. So she's a really important lady. Yes. And um, she is an imperial. So doubly Yay. important. <laughs> <laughs> the final day of training. Okay. The room of law, of law is quite still and silent. It is here that many of the empire's laws originate. And... Akron dealing... And it is here where they are all stored so the Emerald and Ruby Champion can see them and to their proper enforcement. I am I am Mia Katsumi, the finely dressed samurai here says. Let us learn of the Emperor's laws today. She pulls down a book and begins to lecture. So y'all are going to have a lecture course. Um, nah, two trains are approaching each other from opposite sides of the empire. Yeah. Uh, she seems to specialize in uh, Ritsryo, which is Rokugani traditional law, which has been passed down for centuries. For 11 years, she has analyzed and judged clans disputes in Shiro Yugasha. And as she talks, she goes through from origins of imperial laws to latest cases featuring complex technicalities between rival clans. Um, I pay attention very closely to all the things she's talking about. Y'all are kind of taken aback at how many laws actually exist in Rokugan. Like, I'm you, not. You thought it was, it was, you know, you knew how to act, but apparently 
this is way more than you would have ever imagined. So it's a little stifling. Yeah. Like, oh, my spiritual freedom. Overwhelming. My personal freedom. <laughs> then she starts to launch into hypothetical cases of law. She sets a stage complete with parties in dispute as if they were grand puzzles to solve. And then she asks you for judgments. And so this would seem to be an attractable situation, but not so, she says, for an earlier emperor himself provided guidance for the solution. How did his divine words allow both clans to claim victory and retain honor? So. <clears throat> hmm. This doesn't sound like it's related to the current situation. <laughs> this is a government check. Yay, I love government. It's TN3, but everybody visited the, uh, the, the library yesterday and did a lot of studying, so it's going to be TN2 for everybody. Ooh. Uh, I'm going to spend a void point on this one. Uh, Likewise. Uh, yeah. Well, <clears throat> at least I had an extra bo uh, void uh, for my uh, unmasking last night, so. Oh, no, at void resets I'll every game. So y'all are back to half a void. That's how uh. it works. Uh. All right, well, let's see. So, so, who's going first? Clearly, the best approach would be to um, look at previous examples and um, and what I think they say about this particular case. So, recalling. You're going to use recall? Well, I don't feel like that's necessarily applicable since this is a new case, not... So you're going to theorize. Theorize? Yeah. Or survey. You're surveying all the other options. You can also reason. Yeah. I guess that's what I'm really saying. Like, reason based on previous cases. What her call would be on this one. Okay. So, reason is Earth. Well, lucky for me, that's one of the ones I'm good at. Yeah, I think that's where you were trying to go. <laughs> Ooh. Actually, I thought it was gonna be water would be more applicable. I will redo that exploder there. Explode. Uh, come on. <laughs> well, well I know the, the white one. one's not worth anything. Well, now um, you have to re-roll a number of dice because this is an Imperial you're trying to impress. <laughs> yeah. I did only get that one explosive success, so I have to re-roll my success. <laughs> and replace it. This is a replacement for that. So, uh, or... The Wait, no. I think I'm supposed to re-roll it immediately before it explodes. So technically I got three opportunity with strife instead I'm of the sure two opportunity in one. <clears throat> I'm not sure how it works, to be quite honest. Uh... It says adversities, re-roll two dice showing success or explosive success results yeah. when a flaw hinders your check. That's right. So you're going to have to re-roll that explosive success and you don't get the explosive with it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, so yeah, instead yeah. of getting the explosive success and, and two opportunities, I just got three opportunities each with strife. Right, right. Um, I guess I'll take an opportunity and a with a strife and use that opportunity to save face. <laughs> okay. But you do need a void. Yeah. Oh, shoot. I was I even said I was going to use a void point, but I didn't roll it. Yeah. You know what? Whatever. 
and uh, vo- uh, void point uh, modifies the ring. Uh, yes, the ring. Okay, okay. So, I guess I'll go next. I'm going to <coughs> arise. All right. Same here. Um, but I'll I let you spend a void. Um, where's my government? There it is. So bloop. Um. And I will be able to re-roll two of these because I am theorizing about the law and I have Fukuro Kujin's blessing, so it lets me re-roll up to two dice. Great. Um, so blue. <laughs> uh, I will re-roll two of those opportunities just to see if I get anything cool. Oh, opportunities are already cool and they're not strife. They're, I would keep that roll. Uh, all right, I guess that's fair. I just wanted to see if I could get a better success rate, but I guess you're right. Um, all right, two successes and two opportunities. Right. So, uh, fire opportunities. Um, For general examples? Uh, I could show off by poking holes in her argument and telling her how we could prove or disprove them. Sure, I like that. That's one opportunity. The other opportunity, uh, let's see here. I'm just trying to look for the generic ones real quick. Extra, extra, uh, uh, has even more notice. So you can give yourself a, even a better flashier way. Oh yeah. Okay. We'll do that then. All right. You very much uh, show her up just a little in the way you perform, and you can gain a glory for doing that. Sweet. Josh, would you like to make a roll for this? Sure. With a void point. Yeah. I think I'm going to analyze the information. And... Well, you're very talkative today, aren't you? Yes, I am. Thank you. No, not you. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about. I know you're talking about. Hey, that's not with a void, is it? I clicked one ring. Yeah. Oh, your air. Why are you using air? Because that's <laughs> what to analyze. And no, he's he's analyzing it. I, I, I would, uh, I would probably use something that you're a little stronger with. Like yeah, you roll could use something theorize that's... or something similar. Okay. But he did it. Um, your air is only one. It. You only have a one in air. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well. Do I re-roll that blank or no? That's just no, no. Good. That's it. That's you're done. Gotcha. Um, you only get the answer half right, so. And, you know, almost only <coughs> counts in horseshoes and hand grenades, as they say. <laughs> um, I believe it is Tagashi Tatsu's turn to figure out right, this well, puzzle. Well, I am going to theorize. Trick, but, you know, who am I to judge? Hmm? I said, what was I said, it, Tarek? I said, I think it's horse, sh- horse grenades and hand shoes, but, you know, <laughs> who am I to judge? <laughs> All right, so I'm already spending a void point. It's modified, and let's go. Uh, <laughs> so many opportunities. So much opportunity. Yeah. Uh, That's a shame. I know. But <laughs> let's, should I look at the general examples, or should I look at the... Um, general, uh, yeah. Unless you have, like, I have a technique that lets me do special stuff. But if you don't have a technique or like a skill or uh, something like that that'll give you extra use of opportunity, then yeah, general. The way it goes. And since you didn't make the roll, you can't really do anything flashy, but you can keep yourself from losing glory here. By the way, Joshua, lose a point of glory from failing this assignment. Yes, sir. But, Tatsuo, you fail too, but at least you uh, keep yourself from losing glory in this endeavor. So, at the very least, I made myself seem competent. 
It's you, like, eh, you know what? He may not be the star soon, but you're like, I mean, it's magistrate. debatable what whether or not you would, uh, you know, condemn the Meho Sukai to uh, to execution. <laughs> you want to make him work for it or something? She's like, whatever. Just stop talking now. <laughs> Oh my god, for you. You just uh, filibustered the whole time. You just kept talking. <laughs> yeah, he just kept talking. <laughs> Kasumi, uh, Kotsumi stresses, however, that resolving cases based on facts or history are only part of their duties. Emerald magistrates have to consider the Empire's well being. Uh, the law says sternly serve the Emperor and exist only to maintain the empire. And with that, she closes the lesson. I, I thank her for her interpretation of the law and her uh, offer to educate us. I bow deeply as well. I'm, I'm most humbled by your awe-inspiring awe intellect. And well, I bow as well. Um, after the lesson is done, everybody heads back for your midday meal to eat. <laughs> and, uh... You guys really didn't pay attention to the stuff we were studying, huh? I tried my best. I was okay. kind of worried about the whole... <laughs> Look, I'm just not good at taking about... tests, okay? <laughs> hey, yeah. I deal with spirits, okay? Book, book work? Unless it's about spirit stuff, yeah. Um, that's the yeah, kind just, of the law stuff. isn't about what's written down. It's more about what you feel in your heart. <laughs> in your spirit hole. <laughs> <laughs> How's your spirit hole today? <laughs> it felt do legal. Do others what you want others to do on to After you. this morning, I'm feeling quite exuberant, yeah. to be honest. It, it feels legal. Therefore, it is legal. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like the right thing, so shouldn't that be what the law is? Yeah, exactly, right? As long as it's good so, for the Empire. After your meal, you are interrupted by an important meeting. Um, we are Yusuke, interrupted by an important yes. meeting? Uh, Yusuke Kagi motions you guys over. Wait, Yusuke or... Uh, Kits uh, Kitsuki, sorry, Kitsuki. Okay. okay, I got the name from Kitsuki Kagi. Kitsuki Kagi, the guy who guy. who uh, who who confronted me last night is asking yes. for a meeting now. Come, come here, S students, please, please, students, come here. Okay. I I was really like, oh, come here. I have candy. <laughs> <laughs> come, come to this dark alley where we might communicate in more privacy. I hope you're you like having a purple jade. I hope you had a very uh, good lunch and a successful lesson this morning. But there is an important matter I must discuss with you. Yes? Okay. Has it to do with the, the doji who have gathered out at the gates? You are quite insightful, Akoma Kage san. Indeed it does. She wishes to see all three all four of you. Us. But why us? Mere, mere students. Perhaps you should ask her when you go see her. I find it baffling that all four of you have such high meetings with the Ruby Champion and now the Crane Champion. Well, but students who am such as I us to judge, so I am. Hold quite an appeal to those who seek our humble intellect and skill. Oh, is that what they want? Potential. <laughs> it is all about potential. Of course. Potential. You you seem quite humble, Lion San. I do what I must for my land and my lord. Your landlord? Well, please. Yes, my landlord. <laughs> His name's Frank, and he does a lot for me, okay? Please follow me. And we will get your majesty to see the Emerald Champion, or the Crane Clan Champion. <laughs> I, I walk with, like, my chest puffed out, <laughs> like a super important person. I hold in giggles. 
<laughs> I kind of like side eye away. It's like, oh god. I kind of rib Kage. He's like, quite the silver tongue you have there. <laughs> I've been told by my uh, my sensei and my of my school that I speak just like Ikoma himself. I hold that in high regard. So you guys all move out to the room of questioning. Oh. Oh. Right, there's question marks everywhere. I feel slightly <laughs> less. Con- I feel slightly less confident now. <laughs> <laughs> the room. This is the room where people go when they're unexpected. Yes. The room <laughs> of from full mast to half mast. In the matter of nanoseconds. <laughs> yeah. the, oh no! The room of questioning like is where. She, went are you ready? Sorry. Okay. Yeah. The room nope. of questioning is where strangers and unexpected visitors are properly identified and then questioned upon their arrival. <laughs> Occasionally, such visitors are denied entrance to the castle, sometimes violently. Oh no, they're gonna kick us out! <laughs> they're onto us, cheese it! <laughs> you guys do not go into the room of questioning proper but a side room to that. The room is small and unassuming compared to the room of questioning. Hardly fit for a clan champion. Doji uh, Hotaru stands within, dressed in blue and white colors of the crane. She gracefully sits on a tatami mat and motions for you to do the same. Please sit, she says. I'm honored to meet the samurai who preserved the life and honor of Kakita Riku. Oh... I look quite perturbed when she mentions that name for a split second, just like yes. a half second. Would I, you like I, to gain a strife, I, sir? Strife. Yeah, I'll gain a strife because that ju- her just bringing up that name makes me worry now that she might know more. So I'll gain a strife. But anyone who's real fast on the draw will notice my eye twitch when she says that. that Would you like a picture of Doji Hataru? Maybe I can grab one for you, get for you, for you people. Back to my own. Or... Sure. Yeah, I'd love to see a picture of her again. Let's, uh... <laughs> She's a pretty lady. She is a pretty she lady. Really is. She is honestly a pretty lady. Well, it's I see the because my... still. Uh, Personally, Tarek, my would you like to explain? Is... Would you like to explain to the audience what a clan champion is? So, a clan champion... So, every family in the Empire of each clan has a daimyo, a leader of that family. Right, they are usually inheritors to the namesake of their family. So Asawa, the Asawa family would have a representative who is their daimyo. Uh, well, actually, Asawa isn't a good example. Shiba would have a representative of their family who is a Shiba and may have actually descended directly from Shiba, who runs their family's um, business. Right, all of the family details, the lands administers the laws of the lands, uh, administers the samurai of the of the, clan, of the family. Um, the champion of the clan is a representative for the entire clan. Not only do they oversee all of the operations and day-to-day activities of their clan, but they also represent their clan in imperial court to the emperor himself. So they have a lot of duties that they carry with them above and beyond that of a normal daimyo of a family. So there might be a a Sheba family daimyo, but the clan itself would be run by a champion. Now, that's not the case for all clans, as in the, the Phoenix clan don't have a, a... They have a clan champion, but the person who actually oversees all of the clan's functionality isn't the clan champion in the case of the Phoenix. It is the, the, the elemental council of the Asawa family. And there is a clan champion who is a Sheba most often, but he is more he, mostly a figurehead and a go-between to that, the Empire. That's superfluous information, man. He went too far. <laughs> well, I'm saying clan champions are usually the the head of the, the clan. Yes. The one who is the face of the clan, who interacts you, with you the Emperor. You said that. But that is not always the case. All right, Tarek, you're They're done. your Congress person. <laughs> uh, this is Doji yeah, Hataru. Also. Uh, she has perfect skin. <laughs> and perfect hair. And perfect hair. And a perfect body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, she a, is, and a perfect uh, outfit. Here, perfect in every way. Here rendered by Ignatius Tan. Nice art. It is. Oh, it yeah. is really nice. Yes. Her eyes beautiful. look sad, though. Mm-hmm. Her eye, She has sad eyes, yes. She sad. does. She has sad eyes. 
She's carrying a secret. <laughs> Aren't we all? Well, if you read the stories, every you know that's the first story. It's in the first story what her secret is. Yeah, I could uh, I could already imagine poor Tatsu being uh, like uncomfortable. He's like, oh my god, she is gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> I pull out a fan, uh, like a, he a goes metal back to full fan, mast. as soon as she says uh, Kikitariku, and I will so wait for her to say something further. <laughs> My fellow samurai, I would be honored if you would relate the story of what happened uh, and how you were able to save dear uh, Riku-chan's life. Well, she's Shusui now. I'd like to do that with a bit of flair to gain us all some glory. Can I do that? <laughs> mm. Well, I do, like, I'm fine with you to, being to, the to, mouth. To tell the tale in a spectacular way. You you could tell her, but like it's gonna be no role. There's no role necessary just to. Okay, well I'll, I'll re regale her with a tale that's very <laughs> powerful and over embellished, or a little bit over embellished, not too much. You do too you powerful. do your bard school proud, sir. She does seem to uh, I when you mentioned Bayushi Sugai, uh, it does make her wince just slightly at the name of the, uh, of that person. Hmm. Well, then I will overemphasize the fact that I murdered him in cold blood <laughs> as vengeance for what he did upon Hidariku, just to turn the tine a little bit. Okay. Um, at this point, uh, she thanks you all for the time and relating it. She thinks... Uh, You've done a great service to the Empire in doing this, and a service to me, because uh, I'm quite fond of uh, Kikita Riku, whose name is now... What's her name now? Shusui. Saomi? Hold on, I have it written down Kikita right here. Kikita Shusui. 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 Yes, I got it written down right here. Kikita Shusui now. And she uh, is going to become an invaluable member of the Empire, thanks to you. Especially now that she's the Topaz champion. Um, my time is limited. But if there's anything uh, you'd like to ask of me. Ooh, that's a, that's a thing <laughs> that's there. That just said. I have no idea what that means. She's asking us if we want to she's basically just opened herself up to questioning yes she'd like to question her about what is going on um you can you're in an investigation mm -hmm. and she's a suspect how many how many yeah. people are in this room with us and her just her just her just her y'all could y'all could overwhelm her and kill her <laughs> that sounds like a really bad idea take her out poke her sad eyes out <laughs> oh, You're so mean. We're samurai. Uh, we must do what we must. Also, um, I don't know. She might be good enough to take us all out, regardless. She might be. <laughs> but if you, but if you win, y'all walking out of there, and Kage's like covered in blood. Where's, where's the where? You seem to be uh, uh, covered in blood. Where's the crane? Where's the crane champion? <laughs> oh, she's just rusting as y'all are like speeding off. <laughs> she's just taking a nap. You know, we, we, helped her, we helped her kill some chickens in there. You might want to go clean up. And uh, run! Everybody run! Scatter in different directions. They can't catch us. It's, it's a cheese it situation. <laughs> it is. It's a cheese it situation. So, uh, okay, so. She is asked if you have anything to ask her. Uh, well. We, uh, we were, we were, um, we were taken aback at the news of, uh, your father's recent demise. Um, but we, we also had the opportunity to travel with one of his, <clears throat> one of his close servants, um, on our way here to Suma Village, or sorry, our way here from Suma Village. A man by the name of Briu. Did you know him well? 
Um, in fact, uh, I have spoken with Ryu earlier today um, because I am here to ensure that my father's possessions are safely sent to my uncle in Suma. It is Ryo's responsibility that all these items get there, and as of today... Tojimoku-sama. Hi. As of today, uh, the last of these items should be uh, packed away and transported. Interesting. He did have a great many details among his person. He was a great man. Someone we should all look up to, hi? Yes, so why do you speak of, Ri of Ryu? We had the opportunity of traveling with him and he regaled us with many stories about your father's great deeds. Hmm. She seems like that doesn't matter to her at all. But I suspected. Um, actually, everybody can make a uh, TN one <coughs> sentiment check. Okie dokie. Okay. I believe it's mean, analyze. I'm using analyze fire with to... air. Can I use can I use fire? No. This but is, I want to. I this is analyze yeah, with this air. Yeah, definitely. To I want pick to up scrutinize and use my technique technique. No. And I am going to sense the atmosphere and try to approach, like the conversation does. Gracefully as possible. Oh, this air. is analyze. This is air. Air. Well, <laughs> okie dokie. Well, I got two explosive successes. So See, let so me don't go even worry about it. it. But you got to take the strike. <laughs> don't re-roll? Oh, I got a success. So. Or did you say don't re-roll? Um, no, you can re-roll if you want. Yeah, sure. Okay. I thought you said don't worry about re-rolling. No, 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 no. I said, uh, so you already got the number of successes, don't, so don't even worry about it. That's what I meant. Okay. So, I got three successes. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, yeah, it was only a TN1. Sorry. It definitely seems like Hotaru is indifferent to her father in all cases, and his death, like... To her, him dying doesn't seem to matter at all, in the least. Were were you um? Uh, did everybody? Doke. That's only for people who made one success. Yeah, that's how many I made. <laughs> so Josh did not and, pick up. She in no I way doesn't also, know. Also, I also <laughs> made an opportunity to. Um, yeah, two opportunity. I got one as well, but I'm just using it to subtract that uh, strife I got. So me and Tarek, we're going to make a show soon on uh, gaining experience where we're going to figure out how to get opportunities seamlessly into the game. <laughs> I'm not sure what, what we're going to come up with. So on air, oh, you can learn another character's uh, demeanor. <clears throat> and current strife. You can attack minimal attention to your efforts or notice an interesting detail about a character in the scene. For two. Huh? There's also, you know, the any section. The any section, yeah. Yeah. Um, um, or you can learn the honor, glory, or status attribute of the character in the scene. So what she would probably you, has a lot of all of that. So what would yeah. you guys like to do? I think um, I'd like to learn a detail about her. Another detail? A, another character in the scene. Like, it can't be her. Like, you can figure uh, out something about Tara. Oh, uh, someone Kage else over on want. the side. <clears throat> yeah, if you want to learn something about me, you'll see that I'm licking my chops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it says that you, can, you may also establish any... A uh, new detail for an NPC. What? Well, she is an oh, NPC. Notice, here. Oh, notice an interesting detail about a character That's in the scene. Thing. Yeah, yeah. Such as an advantage, a disadvantage. Uh, yeah, okay. That's fine. Um, let's 
see. They don't. They haven't statted her out. I don't have a stat block for her. So but, we could. Oh kill no! Her. What if we decided <laughs> to attack her? <laughs> I'd, I'd find an NPC sheet real Watch quick. out for your mic, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> like, gosh dang it, Derek, stop trying to suggest killing things. We're not murder hobos. We're samurai. What do you think that means? We're, we're not hobos. We're honorable. We're, we're murder. You couldn't even say that with a straight face. <laughs> we're we're murder we're nobility. Samurais. We slam their pies. We're samurai, and we we kill whoever we feel is slighted us. And she's obviously slighted all of us, <laughs> with her perfect hair and her stupid posture. I don't think she slighted me in particular, but all right, hold on. I have to release the beast out of this cage. So give me a second. Kitty. I hope that Another... doesn't mean what I think it means. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's talking about the cat. <laughs> so, you know, I'm going to give you <laughs> that she has, because of the rumors that are swirling around her, mm -hmm. that her di she has a disadvantage called Whispers of Treachery. Oh, because people are making up rumors? Yes. Okay, so what I missed? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. It doesn't <sighs> matter. You don't have this information. Ah! <sighs> Just Josh does. What? Uh, anybody else using? How? How are you are the people using your opportunity? Getting rid of strife. Okay. I didn't have any opportunities, so. And I I'm had gonna continue no pressing, pressing the, the the questioning. Um. So. So. You're a lawyer. <laughs> it looks like she, after the, your question, she uh is going to try and dismiss the conversation now unless you would like to continue to press the questioning, which is going to be a courtesy check TN2. Uh, I will try to keep pressing the questioning. I want to see about her whereabouts when the, the uh, or like what her understanding of the circumstances of her father's death are. And can um, I ins uh, assist in that? Is this, this going to also be like a, a specific air roll? I don't think this is going to be an air roll. Um... You could use whatever you want on I this one. I think this one. might be... Uh, you said sentiment, right? No, it's courtesy. Courtesy. Yeah, I think this is going to be courtesy reason to keep her there. Okie dokie, Earth is also fine for me. Can um, I also assist since I have a rank two in courtesy? Sure. You want to help me try to argue her into place? Sure. <laughs> I'll, Reason I'll let you with help her. Me You're to reasoning tie her with her. her back. <laughs> Socially. Sure. It's interesting how, how, how this thing is now going on tying hands behind her back. <laughs> no beautiful woman. I don't know where this is going in this game. Uh, Anyone else want to help me get her to, uh, to continue, uh, allow us to continue our questioning? <laughs> I mean, she is our prime suspect in this investigation. Hmm. Hmm. I will try to do my best despite uh, my general lack of courtesy. <laughs> so you're you're contributing a ring. Got it. Um, I can recall information. <laughs> <laughs> do you have courtesy as a skill? If you want to help, you can. Yes, I do. Okay, so that's two skill and one ring. All right. Here we go. Here's my roll. No. A lot of these dice. Woof. Wah. Wow. <laughs> okay. Corey, I think I got her. <laughs> yes, indeed you did. <laughs> I keep I keep close to all of them. I, I yeah. don't keep too close. <laughs> Which so one? I'll, the explosive? The I'm going to keep the explosive, of course, but I'm not going to keep one of those ones with the strife on it so I don't gain that much strife. Actually, yeah, I'll, the, I'll disregard two of those with stripe on it and keep the one. It's only that a have. TN two. Okay, yeah. So I got it. Easily got it. Okay. Actually, you know what? In that case, I'm gonna keep the keep two the of the dice and only gain one strife. Okay. And how are you using opportunity? And I will reduce three strife. And how are you using opportunity? Um. 
Oh, I'm also gonna gain give her strife, and I'll use opportunity to. What? To... You're gonna give her strife? Wow. Yeah, it's my technique. I'm giving her two of my strife, so I don't have as much strife. I was at five strife. Okay. Now I'm at zero strife. Take this. <laughs> like, I wanted to put wow. pressure on her so that I can so question. So you're playing creation. bad cop. <laughs> <laughs> There's only bad cop at this point. There's I'm only bad act, cop. I'm gonna use my my opportunity, my two opportunity to act carefully, to minimize consequences, um, or other dangers that could arise from this task. So that's what my two opportunities are going toward. Okay. So I'm minimizing any blowback that we will get from doing this. <laughs> So, uh, what, uh, what, what's your question? What, I want to, I want to ask her what her, what her understanding of the circumstances of her father's death are. Uh, she said that, uh, the, em the, the Emerald Magistrates have investigated and told me that it was an accident, that he had, uh, a medical problem and fell down the stairs because of it. He was old. Weren't, weren't we informed that she was present when he was killed or no. when he was found dead? No. No? no? Like, okay. none of his family lived here. With the with the good as the uh, questions as you a good a role as you got, does anybody else have questions? Come on, guys. Think about it in terms of being an investigator. Channel your inner investigators. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Hmm. Now, uh, now I'm only like thinking out can loud. I, can I, I give them care. hints as to other questions that they could ask? Sure. Uh, uh, who might your father have been involved with that could have wanted him? Or... I, I was actually thinking about that. What? Asking if somebody had enemies if they died? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I'm like, saying. There's a lot of questions that you could ask. This I I mm -hmm. had I wanted to take a direct route and asking her what she knew, because if she had anything to do with it, maybe I could see through her her deception. But she went with a, a pretty standard. Does anybody response have? To, so I can't do that. Does anybody else have questions for her? Since y'all were all part of the role to get her to uh, to talk, I'm going to give each of you a question before she has to go. Okay. okay. Right. <clears throat> I'll have to. I'll have to, think, also, to think about mine. Togashi, you also know about the the weird, crazy monk order that's plaguing the Crane Lands. Maybe that's a great question to ask her. Uh, He's the guy who you know. I is forgot the name of them. Okay. Uh. Uh, I believe perfect, they were called Perfect Land Sect. Yeah. Perfect Land Sect. That's what they were called, the yeah. Perfect Land Sect. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and jump in and say uh Despite the fact that it looked like this was an accident, do you perhaps have any idea who your father might have been involved with that might have wanted it to look like an accident? At this, Hataru hesitates for a moment. My father made many enemies. I always assumed it went with the position. I'd like to scrutinize her statement on that. What, that an Emerald Magistrate will have a lot of enemies? But her oh. specifically, because she she might know more being a family member, even if she didn't like him, about the kinds of enemies that he made, regardless of whether it was because of his status or or something more. Yeah, like, sense. do I get to ask for more details or is that my question? I have yeah, that's, that's it. If someone has a follow up, they can follow it up. Well, I do uh, like I would like to ask about, um, you know, if there's a, uh, anything going on with the Perfect Land sect. I overheard farmers talking about them, but I don't know to what detail or what involvement they have. 
in the cream lands. Her brow furrows. It's just an ugly rumor. Obviously, there is no perfect land sect within the borders of the Crane territory. Okay, that's, that's not true at all. She just <laughs> lied to us. <laughs> my, my fan will raise when she does that. <coughs> all right. Is there any, uh, any way we could, like, kind of, like, use that because like that was your one question that was your question man now it's oh. now it's all up to sheba okay, yeah of course Come on, Eno. <laughs> um yeah that, so that's a tough one um to follow up with that So yeah, that's a good question. What, you want you want a you want a, another hint? <laughs> yes. We spoke we we all spoke at one point or another with her actual father in spirit form. Maybe ask her if there's anything she'd like to tell him. <laughs> if she could. Oh yeah, that's true. I um <clears throat> I could uh, uh, okay, so I would probably ask since I have um, been speaking a lot with the um, Kami, um, my connection with spirits um, would... Um, you don't really have to frame it in a way where it's like, Oh, I speak with spirits, and I speak. I can speak with your grand or your, no, your no, father. I'm, I'm trying that to figure out. It's kind of weird, but if you were like, given that your father has recently departed, is there anything that you would want to say to him? Maybe that you you never had the chance to while he was here. It's up to you, though. You can frame it however you want. I kind of like how Tarek framed it. It's like, oh, I know. Man, why can't That's why can't I do talk here? <laughs> It's like, why I'm, can't I think about I'm, these things myself? I think at one point in time, I should have been an FBI agent. <laughs> <laughs> I watched too much X-Files. <laughs> um, Dang it, Mulder. Is there, would there be any parting words that you'd ever want to tell your father? Um, since his passing. There were very few words uh, that we spoke of <coughs> during life. I see no reason why that should change in death. Un unsaid words is what I mean. Unspoken. Oh. Things that you would actually want to have him know. Yes, there are everything between me and my father was unsaid. That is what, how our relationship was. That is how it is in life, and that is how it should be in death. I'm very sorry. I apologize deeply to you for, um, but my time is limited, and I have to get back to work. I wish you well in your quest to become an Emerald Magistrate. Uh, from what I've seen of you, I'm sure that uh, you will do the position proud. And she bows to all of you. Mm -hmm. And she rises up and leaves the room. Ah, I was hoping that we uh, we would leave, uh, leave the uh, room first because it would have been uh, like I thought of a hilarious gag that I would have done. We like you know, as we file out of the room, I just like kind of look back, uh, wave, and I hit the corner of the door, and I'm like, no, <laughs> exiting out of the door. So you nervously left. <laughs> yep. Yeah, now, now we lost our opportunity to arrest her. She slipped her hands. No one asked we, her about the scorpion. Her and just tackle her down. Huh? Nobody what? asked her about the scorpion. Not a single one of you. 
I mean, like, uh, like Tarek did press about Bayushi Sugai, like, you know, having killed him, and I'm like, all right, that could probably prompt it, but didn't say anything, and I'm just like, ah, well. Mm. I'm just trying to recall everything since the last game for me. I was just kind of like, nothing was been popping a while. up. It's so been a while. <laughs> it threw me off. Otherwise, I'd be thinking about it often. It's been a while since so, we've said all So, as you guys are leaving the room of questioning, you see OG, and he rushes over to you guys. OG? OG. OG. You remember OG. <laughs> OG was the, the hen keeper? Yep. Hmm. Ah. ah, the fortune <laughs> smile on me, he says, panting slightly. <laughs> I had hoped to find you. More chickens have died. Oh, no. I fear it is another sign. I fear it is a sign that another samurai is soon to perish. Hmm. Come, follow me. Let's go. I'll show you what happens. He's probably got chicken bodies over there. <laughs> Pick one up and uh, throw one over, uh, over the cliff. It's like, what'd you do that for? Mm. So, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anger the, the, the Because chicken. I could. Yeah. Simply because I could. You guys. What's up with this monk? Now have to <laughs> move over. Hey, me. All the way across the castle I again. I thought Kage would do that. All the way across the castle again. We run as Henry. fast as OG can lead wee, us. Wee, 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 wee. <laughs> Chosen one! Ah, oh, I'm coming. coming. Damn squeaky shoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I just remembered the time where like the guy got like clawed in the back and he died, and the squeaky shoes deflated. <laughs> I fucking died watching that. It's like, holy so, shit. Um, this, <laughs> OG explains uh, <sighs> that they were all fine when he fed them this morning, but when he returned after midday, he found two dead. Just as before, no indications as to a cause. Can you show us where you got your feed from? Yes. Of course. <laughs> he goes into the granary and he says, this bag was right here on top. And it shows the bag that you cut off the, the, the piece that you fished out, cut off the pieces of, and then left there. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, yeah. I wasn't there, so I'm just kind of like, what the hell? I happened? just look at him like. <laughs> uh, Tarek, give your character uh, another strife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, y'all see sweat drop cover, like anime style sweat drop on the side of my head. Like. <laughs> Ooh. And I'm just looking at Shiva sure. and like uh, Kage going, what, what the hell happened? <laughs> like, what the hell? OG, you probably shouldn't be using this this particular feed anymore. I think it's. I uh, want to slap you on the mouth, but you just said it. So, wait, what do you mean I shouldn't be using? This is the feed I use. Are you saying um, it's in the feed? It's possible. The I feed mean, may have gone bad. bad. You're yeah. a priest! Does that mean there are bad spirits within the feed? <laughs> Could you bless awesome. it and make it better? Now, because now Sheba's got to cover it. Sheba-sama, yes. please bless my feed so it will, it will be cured of the evil cancer that dwells within it. Uh, it doesn't work that way. Um, we probably have to take this uh, feed... Um, um, to be purified somewhere else. Uh, so um, we'd have to find you some more feed for your chickens, alternatively. Oh, very well then. Um, is the stuff in the other sacks all right to use? Uh, let me check. Kage, could you come with me, please? <laughs> Sweat drop. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm uh, just like, pull up a fan. It's just like, what happened here? What the hell happened? <laughs> I, I, I expected that we would not have to remove the feed before the next morning, and unfortunately, we did not have time to return as quickly as I would have liked. Of course, I do not. I do not. I did not notice any other signs of poison being applied to other sacks. However, okay, but so you I, think I, cannot, I cannot guarantee that more 
more feed has not been tampered with. Well, now that we know what new investigation, I well, suggest we... I suggest that we inform him that he should try another bag of feed tomorrow. And while while we are alone here in the granary, perhaps we can continue our investigation. Very true. Good idea. Oji san, I'd probably suggest for you to tomorrow we'll get a new sack of uh, feed that will be purified. So then you can actually feed your chicken without an issue. Oh, well, thank you very much. Hmm. We will need time to purify the the uh, the remaining feed and ensure that there is no in- impurities. Well, then I will leave you to your task, Samurai. Um, thank you, Oji. We you. appreciate your, your coming to us with this. And he'll leave you in the granary, then. <laughs> what was our task? <laughs> like, essentially running the grain with water. Oh, um, I'll give the Shiba uh, a point of strife, too, from from that. <laughs> I should have thought... <laughs> I, I turn to my dragon <laughs> buddy and say... Perhaps we should go and see what we can do to help them. <laughs> I would assume so. I have no idea. Yeah, what, what once OG here. leaves, you literally will see my character just like face palm and like, oh. Uh, can I explain to everyone else the situation that happened? <laughs> yes, what's going on? Yeah, I say, like, okay, um, we found poison in the feed. So oh, that reminds me. You knew it was poisoned. We. What? If we were fed that, uh, uh, the chickens that ate the poison feed. Well, given that if someone might, given what OG said, we might, there might be another target if that's the case. There may be. I, I reach into my sleeve and I pull out a piece of cloth that is stained green with some unknown substance. And I go, I am not sure that the target was the feed, but certainly whoever who whoever was manipulating this poison spilled some onto this bag of feed. Perhaps they are trying to poison more of the bags, but as I will fold up the, pa- the, the, the cloth and put it back into my sleeve, we were able to identify something of more interest as I will point to one of the barrels and say, come help us move this, and somebody get the door. Ah. Uh, okay. Okay, you want me to hold the door or move the barrel? <laughs> I'll get the door. Close the door. Close the door, we need to, yeah. All right. Last time Kaji noticed us entering in the the uh, the granary, we do not want somebody else to stumble upon us as well. Okay. All right, you guys move the barrel out of the way. And there's a trap door. Ooh. Yeah, I discovered this not too long ago when we were in here. Oh. Do you know where it leads to? We, have we were going to go and we were going to go and and gather you two before we continue to investigate. However, that is when Kage or Kage, Ka, Kage, 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 yes, revealed himself to me, and began to interrogate me on why I was searching through the granary. Well, what was he doing in here? He wasn't. I think he noticed us snooping around while everybody oh. else was distracted. He just noticed or, you being perhaps, suspicious. Yeah. Perhaps, perhaps it was suspicion, perhaps not, but I'm certain we'll find more answers when we go down there. There's nothing but darkness below you. But as the bottom, but at the bottom of the stairs, you make out several oil lamps that you can use for illumination. Good, I have Lighting... a tinder. Thank you. <laughs> Lighting them reveals a small room stuffed with scattered supplies and packs of clothing, a table covered with papers and writing materials, another covered with exotic items and a cache of small weapons. I'd just like to point out that on this map that y'all have been talking about and joking that this might be a secret room down here, it is in fact a secret room. <laughs> this room Where? down here? This one right here. Oh, oh this so that's the one room. that we get to? or Yeah, that's the one. 
And so the one that I mentioned earlier that might have been a secret room this whole time. On the map, on the map that they give you in this adventure for this, I want to just show this to everybody. This is the map you're supposed to produce to the PCs. And on it, it's labeled quite clearly secret room. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and... In the adventure, My it just says, perceptive. tell your players to ignore that it says secret room there. And I'm like, that's dumb. Why did you label it? Why did you lay? Yeah. Why did you label that? It's only for the GM. <laughs> <laughs> I am so glad that the artist that makes these maps uh, posted on her uh, art page the unmolested versions of the map without... <laughs> tags on it so i can I use them why this and like, didn't have labels oh clearly this is a root seller because fantasy flight <laughs> done messed up when they labeled the map <laughs> by the like, way <laughs> uh, i i could just imagine in the middle of the court proceeding all right, uh, all right map so tell us what uh, so which editor uh, touched you in which place inappropriately yeah <laughs> they touched me in my secret room <laughs> okay, so uh, small weapons and text. I want to read the got, text. Yes, the, the room. The room has scattered supplies, packs of clothing, tables covered with papers, writing materials, and another covered with exotic items and a small cache of weapons. Where's so everybody going? Items. We're gonna go. We're gonna go one at a time. What is uh, Nozomi going to check out? Actually, I want to check out the exotic items. Okay, Kage, what are you checking out? Papers. Uh, in no way, what are you checking out? Uh, I'm caught between the papers and uh, exotic. You got one sense. thing. One thing. One thing. I did, uh, okay, papers. Okay, Tagash, uh, Tatsuo. I'll take a look There's at the a lot of stuff in here. Okay. I was going to say, we should probably divide up our efforts, but. We did. Was there anything else? <clears throat> I mean, yeah, there, there were clothing, packs like, of clothing. clothing. Well, yeah, but so the papers. Here's, here's the thing that makes me worried is that it now seems to me like this is a conspiracy. There may be a lot of people involved, especially if there's a lot of equipment down here, more than enough for one person. Hmm. Would I be able to, uh, like, maybe pick out, uh, like, you know, if the weapons are familiar, like any instructors of ours that, you know, use specific weapons that they specialized in? Well, hold that or, thought. Hold it. Don't forget Wait. it. I'm going one at a Wait. time through the things, okay? <laughs> the papers contain the same unfamiliar handwriting as the papers found earlier in the cave tunnel. But they are addressed to someone called Hidden Serpent. Ooh. The words angrily denounce the green for betraying the humans to the kami. It is clearly directed at Satsumi, the Emerald Champion. The uh, people who are at the uh, exotic items. Or just one. It's just Nozomi, right? Hidden Serpent? Is that what you named it? Or you, what they called it? Yes, yeah, someone is. they are addressed as someone called Hidden Serpent. The other table has an assortment of bottles, vials, and jars of bizarre plant and animal parts, such as crust uh, andromeda flowers and picked silver wasps. Um, if you want to analyze them, you can use medicine or skullduggery. Mm. I should have checked this stuff. <laughs> medicine, I guess. Okay, you're going to do uh, medicine fire to theorize. Theorize. <clears throat> I oh, have you one got success, success that's, and that's, an opportunity. That's all you needed. Nice. Uh, these ingredients are used in both poisons and medicines. So not a whole lot of help there. <laughs> um, somebody more specialized in poison can help you, which you may know somebody who knows about poisons. Like skullduggery stuff? <laughs> She's a scorpion. She's like a scorpion. Like the instructor? Yes, the weapons instructor. Um... All the instructors are going to be uh, uh, conspirators, I bet. 
<laughs> they yeah. all know Why? something. Why? There are small... I wouldn't be surprised if Kagi was one. A Kagi. Oh, I, thought you were... I was like, it's all Kagi's oh. fault. That's why he's got the silver tongue. <laughs> <laughs> also, the entire time. Corey, they're onto us. Cheese it. <laughs> <laughs> there are small dark green stains on this table. Um, the same that you spotted on the pe on the feed bag. Um, yeah. And the whole room smells like eucalyptus. The so cache of weapons. Damn koalas. What was your question now about the cache of weapons? If uh, if uh, essentially any of the weapons correlate to what our instructors use, or like you know any anything that they specialize in. Mm. There are katana here. There are like the same stuff you kind of found in the Ruby Dojo mm -hmm. is stuff that was here, except there are no peasant weapons here. Mm. These are weapons weapons. Oh, when you said small weapons, I thought you meant like shuriken and like... Oh, wait, Daggers. hold on. I'm sorry, you're right. There's a cache of small weapons. Well, let me check. What What is a small weapon? Because I didn't... Hmm. Or Did does it not... just mean weapons that one person would use? Yeah, As opposed to weapons. like... Uh, like ninja stuff Zanbato, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna say yeah. There, they these things should be ninja weapons. There should be like uh, uh, kunai and shuriken. There are straight swords. Things of that nature, definitely ninja yes. Katana. Small as in no, can be too. hidden on your person. Yes, there are knives here. I send Skullduggery. Quick, Tagashi. Or what are they called? <laughs> Not Tsuba. What are, what are the little the little rocks called? Rocks? I forget. Yeah, there's little, like, rounded rocks that they use to throw. They're, like, throwing weapons. Yeah, like, yeah. Go. I forgot what they're called. <laughs> no, no, no. Not like go. Like, bigger than go. Like, like river rocks. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like oh, those would probably oh. hurt, and they use those to throw at somebody's temple to knock them out. Oh. I thought it was, like, caltrops you were thinking about, where it's just like... Yeah. No, no, no. Caltrops might also be something, but there's there's a, a specific one that they talk about in in, uh, in Ninja in Elvivar, the little rocks. Yes. Uh, so um, y'all can 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 talk about whatever you want to talk about. Uh, uh, the clothes. After I look at the uh, the the papers, I want to look at the clothes. Is there any identifying information on any of the clothes? Or are they the all clothing is uniformly dark, but there are also kimonos with the colors of almost every great clan inside the packs. That's what I thought of. That's what okay. I suspected. It's, some, it's either one person or multiple people who Looking are trying to, to blend impersonate in. other people. Yeah. A way to get in and out they of the castle. They have their sneaking through the dark clothes and their so, sneaking in plain sight clothes. Here's here's the thing that I, my character, the first thing that comes out of his mouth after he reads these <laughs> things, he goes, we need to inform, or we need to we need to uh, warn uh, Hotaru. Well, whoever killed her father may also want to kill her as well. That's what I was thinking is that there's another target. There are items over here that could be used both for medicine and for poison. Uh, Can I take a look at those? We... Like, I mean, yeah. I'm, I already am in med medicine, so I can uh, see if I can disretain medicine. We might poison. need to talk to somebody with more expertise in poison to see what this is. But how? But here's the problem: is that what if they are actually involved in it? Mm -hmm. That's you, my problem with you that. You can't trust anyone. Right. Everyone's a suspect. Well, Even of course, really go happy. ahead and take a look. <laughs> so we Jeez. all pull out swords and start attacking each other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you. <laughs> There's a dragon komodo here. I knew it, Takashi Satsu. <laughs> <laughs> I trusted you, but how foolish was I to think you were so foolish? You were my brother! <laughs> the Shiba always wanted to take my eye. I knew it. He planted all right the eye. <laughs> he wanted you to be twins. And I'm just like standing there going, holy commie, everyone's going crazy. <laughs> and I'm just the crazy one, and everybody else is crazy. 
All right. Uh, so the Sheba wants to do, uh, Corey, I don't know if you picked up a med. Uh, he wants to Josh do a medicine to, check. Uh, investigate the, uh, the okay. poison drill. Go ahead. Make okay. a medicine check. Using my medicine, I think I'll take the... Um, and I have a point in skullduggery, so maybe we can both evaluate it if you have a point in skullduggery? Nope. Uh, He's I, using medicine. I have He's zero. using medicine. You can look at it from a skullduggered... I don't know. From a skullduggery point of view. Nope. Yes, this is yeah. going to be fire for theorization. For me? Yes. Fire. I will help theorize. I'm just playing. I don't have any medicine. That's the next thing I need to get. All right. Um, take your strife. Okay, okay. So this green stuff on the table, obviously the same stuff that was on the bag. Mm -hmm. And uh, it looks like the ingredients that were mix that were mixed on the table from all these vials and bottles. This is the mixing place where they make the poison. Okay. And, um... It was spilled onto the feed bag. You theorize that it was spilled onto the feed bag while moving between the granary and this room. Probably while moving the barrel over the trap door. Okay. <clears throat> so, I really that information to everyone. It seems like oh. the chickens are uh, collateral, collateral damage. Incidental collateral damage. Mm. Uh, so it's exactly as I was I was concerned of exactly what I was theorizing. <laughs> no, they were testing it on the chickens. <laughs> That's exactly well. I I theorized that they spilled it accidentally spilled it on it before we came down here. Excellent, excellent. So it confirms my suspicions that they weren't actually targeting the food, but they were actually targeting an individual. Mm. Hap by happenstance, accidentally poison the food. <clears throat> All right. So what I'm saying is we're safe. The last <laughs> thing it says is, at this point, the PCs now have some solid clues as to how and why Satsumi was killed. Um, uh, I feel like that's not definitive proof. Uh, we know that he was killed what? and that somebody used these poisons to do it. But we don't have a real direction on who honestly did the murder. While they do have knowledge, uh, what they do with the knowledge will have to wait a bit, as it is time for dinner. <sighs> Any way we can get to the Ruby Champion? I'd like to take <laughs> the papers. I'd like to take the papers and that that <clears throat> that uh, the knowledge that Sheba has now, along with <clears throat> the, the sample of poison we could use to get more further information on these, the poison, perhaps. Um, we don't have any real leads other than this hidden I, serpent. I have a great feeling that at this dinner, someone's going to be poisoned. <laughs> I have I have a real concern that somebody might be killing Hotaru. Like, we're going to walk out of this granary in here. Oh, God, Hotaru's dead! And then we're going to be like... Damn it. We, might, we might have to move post I'm days. more concerned about it happening while we're at dinner tonight. That's what I might. So be. as you guys, <laughs> as you guys go through the court, uh, go through the so castle. We're all taking a point of strife because we're all fucking like nervous and anxious out of our ass. Sure, yeah, I'll now. give you. Y'all are Just, all like everybody. Your, take yeah, a point of strife. Your brains Just, are going crazy with who is guilty or innocent. At, we're staring at everybody in the courtyard as we walk to dinner. Like, <laughs> but as you go. <laughs> Suspects. As you go through the castle, you Cold notice everywhere. you notice that all of the crane have moved out of the castle. It seems that Hotaru was right when she said she didn't have much time, and that she had left as you were in the granary. Okay, good. Wait, no, because now now that means either one thing that she is the suspect and she just left. I told you we should have killed her while we had our chance. Or she's already a, a walking dead woman because those chickens ate feet at breakfast time and died at what, like lunchtime? Well, here's the good news. <laughs> fair, fair the midday meal is already gone. Come and gone. <laughs> and it di the chickens died after, at the mid while the midday meal was going on. So no oh, one's poisoned. No one's poisoned. Okay. And... You told 
the Henry guy, OG, that it was bad grain. Cursed grain, he got the impression. So he's not feeding those chickens to anybody. That's good news. Whew. Good news. Now, what are you doing? The bad news is. Well, so y'all took right the to grain me. with you, I'm sure, right? The poison yes, grain. Yes, we removed the grain. Okay. The, the grain, the poison, the papers. <laughs> the spirits in the area, you know. Shoot. And off you go <laughs> make of to the dining hall. The Ruby champion, or is she in the dining hall? No, we're going to dinner because if we don't go to dinner, people will be suspicious as to us not being at dinner. All right. That's, so that's um, I think we need to. Wait, are we supposed to meet the Ruby champion shortly? No, tomorrow. I think. Okay, tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow morning, Before graduation. Uh, Yay. So As your final assignment, you must uh, prepare your report to her and give it. So. And then we're going to find out that she's the, the, the assassin. <laughs> I really gotta run to the restaurant. You've done well. No. <laughs> we take like a five or like a two before I. Yeah. Okay. Let's take a break, everybody. Before this next scene, we'll all take a break, and we'll come back in about ten minutes. Everybody, calm ten down. Minutes. Let okay. your paranoia out. <laughs> no, there's no Scorpion Clan coup anymore, man. It's before. It's everything went everything back to reset. the beginning. Everything is reset from the beginning. Okay. I'm sorry, time. everybody. Welcome back. Uh, we are having a little discussion about the old, the old canon and the new canon, and what what is still there and what isn't. Are there Naka Jesus is still around? Naka <laughs> Naka Tokai. Oh, I thought you said Naga Jesus. No Naka, like knock knock also knocking Naga on Jesus. heaven's door. Like Naka Rafa Tokai. Jesus, but <laughs> as a Naga. Wow. Naga I Jesus. I like Naga now. Jesus <laughs> better. <laughs> you people. Like you people, come on! Ha <laughs> ah. ha! So, uh, this is your last dinner uh, before ceremony tomorrow. <laughs> Ever. This is your last meal. <laughs> this is your last meal. Oh no, we've been poisoned! It. It's too late! <laughs> it's relatively quiet compared to the previous night, even though Sumiko is again dining alone in her estate. The veterans are on missions, and Doji Hotaru has departed as well. Haruma to Tomoe is quite loudly still here, however. But few wish to discuss the many Shadowlands horrors he has fought along the wall. So it's rather a dull meal. Hmm. I, I, I will, I is will that the guy try that to I talk distract to myself by talking to him about Shadowlands thingies. What? I said I will try to distract myself from all the other horrors inside this castle. <laughs> By talking to him about his Shadowland thingies. <laughs> yeah, I'm willing to hear about the Shadowlands. You need to be careful when traveling through the Shadowlands, my friend. Because things may not be what they seem. In fact, there was a cottage once with a beautiful maiden inside. Until she ripped her flesh right off her bones. And was an evil hag that killed one of my best friends. I tell you. It's a true story, one that you should take to heart. These are the things we fight against. Yes. Right. I may never go to a geisha house again. <laughs> um, most north of the wall are probably safe. There is a tree. Well, from those kind of creatures. Deep within the Shadowlands <laughs> that drinks from a pool of blood and grows from the evil Kansen that dwells within the bloody pools below it. Kansen is evil spirit, for those who don't know. Hmm. Interesting. We must always prepare ourselves for the trials of the Shadowlands. But here, here in this castle, we are growing soft. We care more about the, the texts in these stuffy old scrolls than we do about protecting real people from real problems. Isn't that why we record them in scrolls? 
Who <laughs> cares? <laughs> Who cares how many bushels of grain we have when an ogre is bearing down on you, sir? Suta. <laughs> that's the that's the crab clan word for uh, it's a secret code that means the place is staffed by Shadowland shapeshifters. <laughs> meet me at the door. Quietly meet me at the door. Grab your weapons and meet me at the entrance. <laughs> 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 you never know who might be a peckle. <laughs> yeah, I just found the list here, here guys. Here you go. So you oh have God. you try and amuse yourself during the evening with this uh with Haruma Tomoe. Yeah, I'll hear all of his horror stories. <laughs> yes. Taking notes. Um <laughs> So, uh, after dinner, y'all are going to head back. I guess y'all are heading back to your apartment. I'm... Um, don't yeah, know what I else we could really do right yarn now. And, uh, and, uh, and a, uh, like a bulletin board. <laughs> <laughs> you the conspiracy. So y'all need to... Does anyone have an extra tatami mat I can put on the wall? I'm sure you guys <laughs> want to discuss your report, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. how, yeah. how you're going to present your report. So y'all head on back to your... The the safest place you know to discuss, which is your apartment. Yes. Mm -hmm. The wall appears. <laughs> from, from our... From, by the way, Corey, from yes. our investigation thus far, um, is there any <laughs> other things that we might be missing that you've already given us, like, clues or that we've gathered as clues that might help us hint toward who we're actually looking at as a, as a prime suspect at this point? Um, no, I'm, I'm not, I don't have any hints to give you other than Dude, everything. You didn't ask the right questions to the right people. <laughs> Like, I don't know why I would have specifically asked about the scorpion. We should have just <laughs> tackled her when we had the chance. <laughs> told you. None of y'all listened. I told you. I can't help don't but look at me. I'm just a muscle. I can't, I can't look away from an Asawa. Because <laughs> to me, it seems like we, we have been infiltrated, the, or the, the, the Emerald Magistrates here have been infiltrated by the Kolod. And in my opinion it has something to do with the uh, the perfect land sect um, and now I don't know who to trust and who not to trust um is there a way where I can actually gather up the, uh, the oh I didn't know you just are left are y'all talking on like talking as you're walking no, no. once we get to the no, no, we wait till we get into All our right. place so, yeah, as so you, why were you moving us around when we were supposedly in our apartments already? I, I was wasn't. Your you're not in your apartments already. Oh, okay. For as you see, as you near the bridge to your quarters, near the Ruby Dojo, oh, no. you see a figure walking towards the Ruby Champion's estate. There are still several samurai walking the grounds, even at this late hour. But there's something not quite right about this. So, <clears throat> Josh, Shiba Noe. Yeah. I want you to make either a smithing or culture roll. A what? That smithing first what? or S culture. Smithing or culture. Do you gotta have either of those skills? Smithing? Yes, like hitting things okay, with a hammer. I was making sure I, I was listening to that correctly. Or culture yeah haven't yes. you made all the requisite iron daggers yet <laughs> <laughs> I mean, make I me an iron like dagger, dagger. now take it apart <laughs> yeah okay i don't know much about if you, so if i you guess don't... i'll do a culture okay yeah I was gonna say, if you don't it'll have be culture earth i have like neither points in neither so it'd be culture oh, really? it's culture earth to recall Culture Earth? Yes. Okay. Do you want to use a void point? I have no void points. Uh oh. <coughs> Can I help? Ah! Alright. You do not notice. Well, anything. for whatever reason, we didn't get the opportunity. Everybody else now 
can make a culture roll at TN2. It's going to be culture water. Oh, okay. okay. So we're not checking the same thing. I should have upgraded. <laughs> um, I, I, man, I'm, I'm debating whether or not I should spend a void point I'm on this because that's my point. last one for the night. Do it. That goes on the ring? Culture, right? Culture. Yeah, it goes ring. Yeah, you spend a, a void, void it's a ring. ring. It's extra ring. All right, uh, all right. I, I don't have any void left, so here's my roll. Command. Dang! Culture. Oh, well, I... Good, then. Congratulations! You it was won. only TNT, right? Yep. I'm going to yeah. re-roll just in case I get extra opportunities, because I can get rid of that strike. <laughs> nice. Damn it. <laughs> and, uh, all right, and I'll go ahead and make my roll. Oh, I'll go ahead and re-roll that uh, explosive success and see what it gives me. Yeah, I'll get rid of three strife then. <laughs> At blank, of course. Well, thankfully, I met the TN2 requirements. Okay, everybody so. record your strife. All right. And everybody I'm, made the roll. I'm going to go ahead and take that opportunity and remove two strife, which okay. is technically just one less. Mm. Delicious. So, um, you guys notice everybody but the Sheba. Who, <laughs> who, Look at that, it's a bridge. <laughs> it was only TN1 for him, but for all of the rest <laughs> of you guys... <laughs> Uh, you guys notice that there's something off about this fellow crossing the bridge. Um, something. The, uh... Beautiful night tonight. <laughs> the cut of his kimono is not the way that clan usually wears their kimonos. What clan does he look like? I was gonna say, what do we notice? He's like wearing a crane outfit, but not being graceful. No, he's, he's wearing a dragon outfit. He's wearing like a Miramoto outfit, but he's not wearing it right. Oh, so he's of the dragon clan, huh? Yes. Uh, no, he's mm. not of the dragon clan if he's not carrying himself. Especially, especially, especially you. Or, you know, like, you know, he's disguising himself For as a Tatsuo, dragon For Tatsuo, you know that the way he's holding his swords, like, the the Miramoto are the, the people who do the double sword style. And the way mm -hmm. he's got his swords makes it, uh, they hold their swords in a way that make it easier for them to draw both from their side. And he's not wearing them like that. Hmm. Uh, I... Okay, so guys, uh, like, uh, I, like you know, as I say to everyone else in the group, guys, quietly toward that guy. <laughs> okay. Like, before you even start talking, I stare at him for a second, and then I just start slowly walking toward him. Mm. He's dressed like the, like so. I say like really, really quietly, so only all of us can hear it. That man, he's. We're wearing a Miramoto kimono, but he's not wearing his swords correctly. All right. As he approaches the uh, the castle, you see him pull up a dark uh, mask. But as you round the cor uh, uh, as you round the corner to confront him at the castle, he sees you. You see him fight. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fight! <laughs> roll for initiative. <laughs> I forgot how we roll for initiative. Fuck you. Yeah, we remember, oh, roll it's tactics. tactics. Run to the Using the stance you're going to be in. Yep. Now I remember. Uh, how far away are we? Oh. I will enter <laughs> in as... I'm going in water stands for sure, but... Uh, yeah, I that's why are... I was asking. I was like, do I need to move extra? Uh, I got two explosive successes, so I'm going to re-roll those, baby. Uh, you know what? I'm, uh, I think I'm going to go void for this one. I'm going to go in oh, void stand. Oh, my Jesus. <laughs> nice. You Woo! are definitely going to be going first. I'm going to say you're at range six. 
Oh, okay. Well, I'm at six. Um, range four. I'm sorry. You're at range <laughs> like four. We can oh. barely see them. <laughs> yeah. You're at range four. Water, then. Nice. So I got at least three successes. Okay. Um, take your successes. <laughs> take your successes and add it to your focus. I'm going at ten. <laughs> Jeez. So focus. So where is my focus? I guess I re-roll that one. <laughs> one two, yes, you will. So I am at eight. Eight. Tatsuo is at eight. Yep, yeah, because I have Nozomi. a five Six. and I rolled three. Kage. Kage. Ten. 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 In no way. What's your initiative, in Inoue? Uh, I got so three, three green rings. Add, it to, add whatever successes you have, add that to your uh, focus. So you have one success plus your two. focus. I got two, don't I? Well, no, because it's your it's the ring. Uh, you 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 rerolled a ring and a skill when you should have only rerolled a skill. Yeah. Oh, well, okay. My bad. So you're only taking that skill. So you only got one. So it's one plus your focus. One plus my focus, and my focus is check conf a conflict mode and derivative so attributes. So four. Four total. Yeah, because my focus okay. is three. Okay. Mm. All right, and which explains why you were looking at the bridge. Since I have an opportunity <laughs> to spend at initiative, I'm going to assess all the terrain in the area. Okay, the terrain in the area, it's pretty level stone ground, like it's made so soldiers can get through here easily. Yeah. There's the two bridges that like, uh, so the bridges have rails on them that you can see through and stuff, but before the, the bridges, there are walls. So you just can't like throw them over. <laughs> Unless you get them onto a bridge and then it'd be more uh, apt to do that. And there are Tory arches in front of the wall. So the terrain here is, it's all just normal Normal terrain. city stuff, it's, yeah. Yeah. So you can parkour then. <laughs> it sounds like it's constricting terrain. It's not it's constricting. Not, there's not a lot of room to maneuver. There is, in fact. No, it's nice and open mm -hmm. overall. Goosey goosey. Um... We're not talking three foot wide sidewalks. Okay. Uh, Kage, you get to go first. I sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. Uh, I'm going to move. Um, I'm going to basically double move so that I can move three range bands closer. Three? Three? No. Yeah, because I think you get to move two base, and then if you no, use you an get extra to move, action to move, you get to move one base. Are you in water? If you're in water stance, you get to move a second one. <laughs> okay, so that still four, serves my two. purposes. I'll move two, and I will draw a Yari. All right, you're in Yari range at range two. Yeah. Wait, you can't draw a Yari. That's that's all of your action. Just uh, moving. I, I thought it was part of your move action to draw. Right? No. No. Drawing a uh, weapon is a, is an action. So that is your entire round. I'm trying to get to the, the skirmish thing so I can see the actual things. Um, what does he have? Okay, well then, I'll just move one range band like I can normally as part of my action. Okay. I'll prepare my Yari, and then I'll throw my Yari. Sounds good to me. You may throw your Yari. Can I do honest assessment? Uh, maybe on your, on your turn. turn. 
<laughs> nice roll. Okay, I think I I hit him for sure. I um, keep the things with stuff on them. <laughs> I gotta re-roll two explosive successes. For an opportunity. Okay, so I'm keeping three successes and one opportunity. Okay, it takes two to hit him. And yes. with that opportunity, you notice that the figure has a shapely butt. <laughs> For what purpose that serves, no one knows. <laughs> so you're going to do Yari damage plus one. So how much damage is that? Uh, a Yari does, I believe, four. Hold on. Should be under uh, I'm sorry, it does five damage. Um, plus one would be six. Okay. Um, and then I'm looking at the opportunity... I, can I really do, need to get myself a ranged weapon. I ignore one point of his physical resistance. Why is that? For, because that's an opportunity. That's what I can spend an opportunity for. Oh, nice. A water opportunity during an attack action check. Ignore one point of the target's physical resistance per opportunity spent. And I have one opportunity. All so. right. He uh, jumps out of the way of your Yari spending uh, his fatigue to do so. Sounds like a plan. On eight, uh, both Shinobi, the Shinobi and Tatsuo goes, but the Shinobi has a lower honor, so he goes first. Uh. <laughs> I love that the honor thing. I, I love how that plays out. The, the initiative is affected by how, how honorable you are. I'm not as honorable, so I screw up. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Um. All right. So currently, I'm in void stance right now. He's gonna change to water. He's gonna draw his sword and move one range bad band forward to attack Tarek. Does he have a, a range Wait. two weapon? Hold on, hold on. <clears throat> you were at range four. You moved to range three, right? I moved to range three, yeah. Yeah. Okay. He's going to move into range two. Dos. Nah, he's going to move into range two with you. He's going to pull out some shuriken <laughs> is what he's going to do. That sounds deadly. Yes. Because I'm worried about poison sounds now. Sounds painful. I mean, it sounds minorly annoying, but I fear that if a scratch hits me, that I'm going to die due to poison. <laughs> and even if I don't, I'm still going to act like I am. Hey, <sighs> at least we have the poison on us, so hopefully someone can come up with an antidote. So he's going to throw his uh, his shuriken at uh, Shiba Inoue. <laughs> what? Really? <laughs> Dodge! Yes. Dodge! <laughs> Uh, Shiba's Go Gohan. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I am. <laughs> oh dang. Oh, keep up to two. <laughs> yeah, you just like hear somebody two. from outside the castle yell, "No!" Success. <laughs> so he'll keep the explosive success, the and the success with. Uh, opportunity and whatever comes from the explosive success. So we'll take That's two strife. Success, two strife, and an opportunity. And an opportunity. She can't do for that. Oh, look at that. That's an interesting uh, ability that he has. Okay. Hmm, mm, indeed. <laughs> hmm, indeed. Mm, <laughs> I don't indeed. like the sound of it. <laughs> so, uh, Tomoe, you're hit. And you take. You mean Inoue? Inoue, you will take two points of damage. Ow! <laughs> two points of fatigue? Yes, fatigue. Got it. As these things come very close to hitting you, and you spend your fatigue to get out of the way. Tatsuo, you're up. 
All right, and the what, uh, like, um, what is my range bands with You're this at guy? Three. Like, You're how at far three away right is now. he from me? Three? You're hmm. at three. Ah. You know what? Let's see. Should I grab my bow staff or should I enter uh, Way of the Earthquake? Hmm. I see approach water. Okay. All right. Oh yeah. Guards, guards. Sorry, sorry. We require assistance. <laughs> There's a ne'er do well here. So I will go ahead and activate my uh, way of the earthquake keyhole. Wait, you got to roll for that. that? Yeah, you must yeah, roll. Yeah, yeah uh, I will. Also, uh, what about that? On. That. Honest assessment. What were you trying to do with that? Oh, wait. Yeah, help, uh, help you out with, like, you know, your toss. <laughs> oh, good point, Corey. I didn't think of that. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. What? Told you before the game. No, no, no. I, I didn't think about the fact that I have I, that ranged uh, attack that I made. Mm hmm. Yes. Oh, never mind. You were at range three. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. If, well, no, no, it's it, the 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 lost what's eye. What's the effect of lost eye? I thought that would eye. come into effect, but it's only if I'm moving. If I'm moving as part of like I'm attacking and moving at the same time. You were attacking and moving at the same time. You moved in the same turn that you attacked. Is that how that works? I, I yes. thought that was meaning like if I. There's no charge. Like you move and you attack, and then you take the the, the penalty. So do you have to re-roll? I have to. Well, I have to re-roll two of the dice that I rolled. Please do. That were successes. Every time so, re-roll two successes. Okay. So, well, so two of technically, the... you re-rolled the explosive one. Yeah, the two. Well, the two well, I guess you don't have to pick that as one of the ones you redo. <laughs> well, I, I I did re-roll. Right. <laughs> I know. So uh, that's what I'm trying to say. Is do you want to take the two that I re-rolled? <laughs> I'll you let you re-roll just... whatever two you wanted. Okay, I'll just re-roll two, two ring dice. <laughs> it didn't... It didn't... What? Oh. These character sheets are giving us the... <laughs> okay, so I wouldn't still... have done... It would only have been five damage, because I still would have hit, yeah. but I wouldn't have done the, the extra point of damage. Okay. Also, if I roll for a Kiho, should I put in the skill um, thing, uh, skill counter two? Why? Well, I, I'm just wondering because, like, when I uh, when I added it to, to my techniques, uh, I didn't know, like, you know, what uh, what number. Uh, you put I the number of the this. skill that you're using in it. Hmm. You put the number of the skill. So what sk hmm. What are you using? Uh, way of the earthquake. All right, Way of the Earthquake. And that's based on what kind of skill check? A TN2 martial arts unarmed. So your skill in you martial put arts put in is... the number of points that you have in martial arts unarmed. Yes, which is uh, one. Okay. one. So why did you put two there? I'm sorry. Like, uh, I was just kind of following along what I had uh, on um, the body as an anvil. Yeah. Oh, because those are meditation checks. Mm -hmm. So your skill is one. And it's a fire check, so yeah, it is fire. That's it. So you can add void to it if you want, or whatever. Well, I don't have any void points to spend right now. So is that what you're doing, your uh, earthquake? Well, you know, he's not within range, so that's probably not a good idea. He's like three range oh. bands, and I need him to be within two range bands. This isn't fi fire, I'm sorry, this is earth. Oops. Yeah, yeah you, mm -hmm. can, you can move and do mm. it. All right. That's a sensible choice then. You have right. you have a move and then you have an action. And if you're in water stance, you have one more action that you can use to move or draw a weapon or whatever else you want to do. Uh, I want to try unarmed combat this time. See, uh, see how that goes for okay. me. <laughs> As an attack action and support action, you may make a TN2 martial arts unarmed earth check to control the earth around you. When you perform this action, you may choose any number of characters at range 0 or 1 as targets for the burst effect. Mm. If you succeed, this keyhole activates. While it is active, after you perform an attack or support action, 
or defend against damage, you may choose another character at range 0 2 who must resist a TN4 fitness uh, air check or water check or suffer a penalty damage equal to your earth ring and the prone condition. Mm. So, can make mm. you have to get in within, within range 2 of him. You are in range 3, so you can move one range band forward. Okay. I'll right. do just that then. Okay. And go ahead and make the roll for the uh, way of the earthquake. Yes. All right. Oh, <laughs> jeez. <laughs> <laughs> the dice gods hate me today. Like, hey, he's feeling cocky. All right, well, let's see. Uh, let's see what the opportunities. opportunities afford me, at least. Of conflict. <laughs> Reduce the severity of the next critical strike you suffer before the start of your next turn uh, by one per opportunity spent this way, or do not uh, apply one of your disadvantages to checks until the end of the turn. Or during a movement action, ignore the turning quality of your choice. I think I'll use it for reducing the severity of any next critical strikes if he tries to get it at me within his turn. Okay, sounds yeah. good. Nozomi. Um, I'm in water stance. I'm going to draw my club and move up one range band, putting me at two. That's all I can do. All right. Uh, And no way, you're up. Okay, I will take out my glory staff. And I will move, I guess, a range band in. Sure. Try to get closer. Okay. So you're the at guy range two now with him? Hmm? Huh? Who, what? You're at range two with him now? Okay. So I guess I strike him then? Since you, 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 my staff allows me range one to two? Okay, yeah. Or is that a, already an action though that I already took, correct? Hold on. You drew your weapon, right? Yes. Well, that's an action. What okay. stance are you and in? And then I moved into range. What stance are you in? The water. first the first thing you have to say is what stance you're in. So you're in water stance. Water. So yeah. you moved forward. That's your mm-hmm. move. You drew a yes. weapon. That's an action. Now you get okay. a second action from your water stance. A strike? Certainly. Since I'm in range? Yes. If, you're, if your weapon has oh. a range of two. Okay, you can yes, take yes, it does. two One to two. extra at One extra You action. can move and take two actions, but moving doesn't count as an action you can take. Yeah. Exactly. You can take an extra action that doesn't require... In, in Water Sands, you can take an extra action that doesn't require you to make a roll. Oh, okay. wait, a there's a thing called mobility like where you can move an extra spot. Exactly, and you can you can choose whether you want to roll to move even more, or you just want to do that extra one root, root move. Yeah, so I, that means I'm allowed to take that action to strike. Yes. Correct. Yes. Okay. Doing so now. And that's a miss. Yeah. With. <laughs> the thought that counts. <laughs> I am harming you. <laughs> I harm your air, your general airspace. Kage. <laughs> I'm going to draw my sword and I'm going to issue a challenge to him. <laughs> okay. Face me, you coward! Ooh. I have to look that up now because, you know... Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's on page two... Basically, you're saying duel me? Basically, yeah. As a steam action, you may make a TN1 command check to issue a formal combat challenge targeting one character in range 1 to 5, or 0 to 5. You must stake 10 honor and 5 glory upon the challenge, which you forfeit if you sabotage the clash. If you succeed, uh, the target must choose whether to accept or decline um, the duel or the challenge, uh, choose one of the following. So whether he accepts or declines, and there's rules for that. If you clash each of the foes, each of your your foes' allies in the skirmish suffer three strife. If you lose the clash, each of your allies suffer three strife. You better win this, man. <laughs> well, that's if he actually takes it. 
really, I'm just gonna try to to get him to break his his uh, emotional state um, by put, dropping a bunch of stripe on him here in a second. Okay. Because that's what I do. That's our politician. <laughs> yeah. Talk until he gets really frustrated. And it'll let me remove three strife. That's the big thing. I'm going to get rid of my strife and give him a bunch of strife. Nice. Am I good to make the roll, Corey? Yeah, make your roll. Okay. Boom. Okay, so there's two successes, which is more than I need. So I'm going to re-roll those two, which it's one and one, right? Yeah, one and one. Nice. And then there's another one. I don't know if I should even bother re-rolling these <laughs> at this point, because I don't think there's it's just the TN1. Like more successes. But I'm going to re-roll it just in case I get more opportunities, because those opportunities could give me bonuses. Um, loop. Good no. So I'm going to keep uh, the two explosive successes, obviously. So I got more than enough successes, and I'm keeping one of those opportunities. Um, and with the one opportunity, I'm going to daze him using my um, technique. Yeah, uh, if he forfeits, if if, uh, if he declines, he has to forfeit glory equal to your command, ranks in command, plus the bonus successes of this roll. Oh, okay, so he's going to lose a lot of glory if yes. he declines. So he's also going to gain the daze condition no, no matter what. And I'm going to offload two strife onto him. Wow. And I'm going to lose three strife because I'm provoking him into something. Um, and then, uh, I think that's all I can do so far. Okay. Um, I don't think he has 10 honor to stake. <laughs> I was wondering. I mean, the bandit didn't. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, he does have 10 honor to stake. Oh. Mm. It's up to him if he wants to accept the challenge or not. A sensible shinobi would be if like, he what doesn't, the fuck? No. He loses glory, gains two strife, and I gain a void point. If he does, then we get we go to blows. Which he might honestly be a better fighter than me. All right. He will accept your, your uh, duel. I challenge. Round one. <laughs> <laughs> but your allies have to not interfere in the in the clash now. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, that's up. That's up to them. Yeah, I can't actually control whether or not they do, but they. So guys, you can uh, continue to attack him, but you will lose honor if you do so at this point. As right, Kage I'll says, "You cur, you dishonorable cur." face me in one-on-one -on -one combat and he says of course I, I, I imagine says, he would just go Soka <laughs> come at me bro come at me bro and now it is up to you now that the challenge has been accepted the Dragon Ball Z battle now begin <laughs> does anybody decide to continue to attack you will lose honor if you do no Back up. Can I activate a keyhole without uh, losing honor? As long as it doesn't attack him. All right. You know what? I'll uh, like you know if some things go south, I'm gonna switch to um um the switch to the body as an anvil and wait okay. and just watch. Roll your body as an anvil. All right. So I assume we both move one range band forward. I'm gonna re-roll that explosive success. Other characters can interrupt a clash before it begins or during a clash. Using the challenge action on an enemy involved in a clash allows a character to cut in, exchanging themselves for an ally in a clash. So you can cut in if you want using um, a, a, a challenge action of your own if you want. It's like oh, a tag. It if you if you if you interrupt in any other way though you forfeit 10 points of honor yes 
So if you don't formally jump in and, and like tag team me out, mm. then you have to stake your honor on it. Ah. Uh. And you make me lose honor as well, which my mm. character. So I believe at. your body as an anvil activates. <clears throat> All right. So I'll just keep watch. And if uh, if Kage needs me to ta uh, tag, I'll switch places with him. Yeah. Okay. Leave the squishy to the side. <laughs> <laughs> so you're now fighting in a clash since he took no action this turn. Uh, his days will wear off at the end of the, the turn and the clash begins. The characters uh, at the end of the round participates fight one round of a duel using these steps. One, the stare down. Characters receive strife equal to the round of the clash and bid strife to increase their current initiative. So, um... Okay, so we get to increase our initiative by the up to, up to our focus amount by bidding strife. Yes. So he gets strife. You both get strife equal to the round of the clash. So this is his first round, so you get one. one. So, and he gains one, but he already gained some strife from what I did last round. So. Um, bid. Okay, now I, bid I'm strife. Type by... my my <clears throat> bid into the into the thingy. Okay, and we're gonna do it in, are you ready? Yes. Three, two, one. Oh. So our initiatives both increase by three. Yep, and I'll gain my three strife. And he'll gain three strife. All right. The character with the higher initiative takes, uh, with the higher initiative value takes a turn, followed by the one with the lower value. So, you get to do an action now. Okay, can I strike him? Yes. Is that how the finishing blow works? No. Oh, if they become compromised or unmasked. Yeah, then a compromised or unmasked. So you can basically keep fighting until one of us. So this is basically like a, a Kenjutsu duel. Yes. Instead of a Ninjutsu duel. Okay. All right. So I'm going to strike. Okay. Um, I can't take a calming breath because I'm not stressed enough to do that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm just doing a strike. Okay. Oh, um, by the way, on his last turn, he did change his stance to air stance. Okay. Well, I'm I'm still on water stance. Um, I will spend a void point on my attack. Yes, of course. And there we go. Okay, so I will hit and I will um, do a critical strike. Sounds good to me. Um. So that is, what's the, the attack on my weapon? The damage? Uh, the what damage is four, so it'll take four damage, but the critical strike does severity equal to your weapon's deadliness. I'm wielding it two-handed, so I think that does more, de more deadliness. He has to make a fitness check. You're using a katana now? Fitness air. Yes. So my katana. Deadliness seven. Damn. Deadliness seven plus one with the opportunity, so it's deadliness eight. Deadliness eight. <sighs> so he pulled that down to a seven. I forget what page. And the it's razor is. edged. It's already like this is bad already. I figured. It's a permanent injury. He's gonna suffer the bleeding condition, then choose one scar of the following from air. Of an oh, nice. choose one scar of a following disadvantage for a ring they use to resist. So he gets maimed visage or nerve damage. 
Ooh, those both sound really bad. He's going to take maimed visage as you cut his face and the mask falls away and you recognize this person. This is Kitsuki T Tomo, a man that was your guide. He... Oh, he was the dude who showed us around. Showed when we first yeah, the tour yes. guide. The tour guide. Oh, shit. Always been suspicious. <laughs> oh, shit. He is also uh, bleeding. Yes, he is bleeding. That's the bleeding condition. He is, but he okay. doesn't sound funny. Which makes him, when keeping... Uh, Strife successes on dice, the character suffers the same amount of physical damage, ignoring the resistance. Such damage inflicts a critical strike with severity equal to the character's fatigue. When suffer, each time he suffers yeah. a critical strike. Oh, okay. He got a critical. <laughs> so, so he's going to attack you back. He's going to pull out his sword. Um, oh wait, Tarek, you missed. You didn't I... hit him at all. You missed. Oh. Huh? TN2, he's missed. more difficult to hit than that. He's got, he's in air stance. Oh, yeah, you oh, need an extra success an to hit him. He's in air stance. <laughs> Oh, so okay. we we don't know who it is. It's a so random shinobi. Know. Dang it! I, I gave you. <laughs> you'll you'll defeat him. <laughs> of maybe. course. <laughs> maybe yeah maybe. So we'll he see. will he will attack you back in air stance. <laughs> That's a lot. All of we know is, that says. we know who he is in spirit, just but not that, physical form. He's just a shinobi, as far as we know. Mm-hmm. So he's going to two, he's going to take four of these. One, two, three, four. So he's going to, he's going to take the explosive success, the success, two opportunities, and oh, another wow. success. So yeah, he'll do Even five points of damage. Okay. And then use two, six, uh, two opportunity. And as he's dueling you out from his uh, sleeve, a uh, another shuriken comes out at Inoue. Inoue, okay. you need to make a TN3 <clears throat> fitness earth check. Oh, Does that Lord. forfeit his <laughs> duel? Oh, man. Nope. Okay, he can attack. The people in the duel can attack other people, but you but can't, attack can't attack them back. back. If uh, you're if you're honorable, you won't attack him back. No. Yeah, he can do it. He's just forfeiting his own honor to do it. Yeah, that doesn't. Oh, but he, he's honor. He's but he's a uh, shinobi. He's like a non-honorable person, so I don't know that he really cares about losing more honor. <laughs> okay, so I'm doing the fitness check. Well, yes, he had check. 10 honor to forfeit. <laughs> yeah, but that's not 10 honor. <laughs> Any approach, or am I doing it by my earth, own approach? Earth. Fitness like earth. earth. Fitness oh. earth. A TN of three. TN three. Oh, this is his okay. cool NPC ability that he can just, you know, do this Make at the same time. Make an extra little shuriken attack. Yes. Okay. Uh, and somebody else. Double. Oh no, don't get poisoned. I'm just double checking to see if I have anything that I could possibly do. Um, Make your fitness check. Yes, that's what I'm doing. I'm just, well, because I have to do it by the earth approach anyway, so. Blah. There might be an opportunity with that explosive success. All right, so I just roll, roll one, one ring, correct? One ring die. Yes. Bloop. I assume uh, one more success. Uh, one more. One more. One more, man. You can uh, do it. No. 
so I assume we have had enough time to be able to basically take a turn to change our stance if we want. Yes, yeah, so you can take change your no. Yeah, you you had that turn to, this turn to change your stance. Okay, yeah. He, like I'm in fire stance. Yeah, right he now. he did a keyhole, and yeah. So uh, you'll take five points of uh, fatigue. Five points to your endurance. As you Seems take fatigue like a damage. lot for a sure. Shuri can. Yes. I'm, I've got one left, and I uh, I get unmasked. Oh, no, 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 no. Your fatigue, fatigue. not your... Not your uh, no, 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 but regardless, because when I was taking all those successes, that I increased my strength exactly to 10. Oh. oh. Push the water yeah. stance and do okay. calming breath. Sorry, he's already unmasked. He's already unmasked. Yeah. Uh, so what's your unmasking? You have to go over... Oh, you have to go over. Yeah, you have to go over. Okay, so I'm exactly at it, though. Okay. Yeah, you have to go over. She's right. You have to <laughs> go over. Breath. Calming breath. Calming breath. <laughs> I might just do that. <laughs> okay. Uh, that was the end of this turn, so everybody gets to go. Um, Tatsuo, anything you're doing? Uh, unless I'm tagged in, I'm... Nazomi, anything okay. you're doing? Well, you I'm going to switch to me miss, stance, and then he hit me. That's all. Okay. But I don't look like I'm stepping down. In no way. What are you doing? Yeah. Um, since I'm still in water stance. Or um, did he I guess actually I can... have to roll to do that? Like, the extra attack? I, uh, no. Do... That was his opportunity. Okay. We're good then. Uh -huh. Uh, Corey, how close am I to him? Is, am I doing any supernatural damage to him? Like, you know, because of my active... If you do, if you get close enough to do that, That's you will be honor. losing honor. Ah, yeah, you lose right. 10 honor for, for doing that. If you all do. right, I'll um, just back away then. I will, one, take a calming breath, and... Mm, I'm on, yeah, um... Well, initiative starts over again. And you can do, uh... Uh, path the inner peace on yourself. That's what I was thinking. But, but that's yeah. your turn. Spells, man. If you're in it's, water it stance, goes back up to the top of the beginning of the round after the. What happened? No, Tarek, be quiet. Oh, okay, I'm I running see, the I game, please. Bang. Never mind. <laughs> you're confusing Wait. people. Wait. Okay, so I can take calming breath and I can take inner peace. If you're in water stance, and you have to be in, water, be stance in water stance to do path the inner peace. Okay. So I'll do both. Do it. Okay, so here's the water stance. Uh, path to inner peace. Okay. And... Three successes. First, do your calming breath, which re reduces your fatigue and strife by one if the... If, uh, as long they're, as they're over half. As long as they're over half your endurance and composure. Okay. Wait. Okay, so endurance... Oh, I'm sorry, fatigue is at seven. And Without my endurance us. is at eight. Then that's over half. So you can okay. reduce your fatigue by one. By one, okay. And then and your composure does the same. <laughs> okay, so that means by one with strife, correct? Yes. Both of those happen with your calming breath. Now you okay. can cast past the inner peace. Okay, which, <laughs> which you I did. rolled four. Which you already yeah. did here, right? Yeah. And you can keep up to three. Okay. So I will keep the success, the success with the opportunity and the other opportunity. Okay. Let's try. So how much does that heal you? Okay. Yeah, um, look at the spell. Look at the spell. It says in the spell. Well, give me one second. If you it, succeed. Depending on what it is, it may be advantageous to take the extra success or it may not be. It is okay. If you succeed, you mend the target's muscles, water ring, equal to your water ring. Equal, yeah. Which I have equal to my water ring. So my wow. Ah, yeah, so you heal ring three. Looks like three. Okay, so three. And now we have two opportunity to do with what you wish. One, two, three, and then what? Yep. And then I got two. And with those two opportunities, you okay. can, uh, with those two opportunities, you can remove two strife. Plus your bonus successes. So here's the thing. Um, Don't confuse him. You might him. want to keep. He, he already said what he was keeping. Okay. All right. Don't confuse him, please. 
We gotta move this game along, boy. (laughs) It's gonna take forever (laughs) if we do it. Like, you're away. Um, So with your uh, your two opportunity, you can remove two strife from yourself. Mm Mm-hmm. That's That's probably what you should do with them. You could do other things, but don't you want to remove the strife? Isn't that what you're... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So two strife then. (laughs) Of course. Okay. Yay, I'm back to... I'm I'm trying to just move the game along. Of course, of course. Okay. Now we're back to... We're back (laughs) to the challenge. The challenge is going on. We both gained strife equal to the number of rounds. So that's two strife for Kage. He doesn't like it. And this mysterious figure. And the mysterious figure. And now we get to bid. Okay, I got my bid in. You ready? Yep. One, two. Actually, no, I'm not ready. (laughs) No, not that one. Okay, I'm ready. Ready. One, two, three. Oh, my God. Hey there, little fuzzy buddy. That's not good at all. Okay. For that puts you. you at 16 <laughs> and 14. Okay, you get to go first again. He is still in air stance. Okay, I'm still in water stance. I take a calming breath. Um, actually, let me see how this is going to work. Is calling breath a support action? It is a support action. So, if I want to activate a technique that is a support action, it takes up that support action. Yes. So I can't do both the calming breath and the technique. So I'm gonna use um, I'm gonna use calming breath to reduce my fatigue and my strike. Then I'm going to strike. He's still in air, right? Yes. Yes. You need three successes to hit. Yep. Um, I do not hit. Right. I missed. He will attack you back. Air stance. Pull. That'll hit. He can only keep four of these. Um, you can only keep four. Ooh, that's exactly what he needed. (laughs) (laughs) Of course. Okay. He is going to keep, um, two successes. Uh, one of them is the explosive one. He'll take the strike for that. And the two, uh, uh, opportunity. Tarek, you will take four points from his sword. And no way. I am th- shooting another shuriken out at you. Oh, for God! These things sake. seem to be coming from nowhere, and you're spending more fatigue than you need to dodge these things because of it. Fitness, Earth, TN3. Yeah. Okay. He wants you for some reason. Why does he? My, aren't I the popular one? Okay. Uh, you said Earth Fitness, correct? That's right. Yeah. Failure. Just need one more. You take five points of damage. Wait, why? The last one didn't count? It didn't... Oh, wait a minute, no. Huh? Well, you need oh, yeah, one more right. die for... Um, a right. die with a success for that. You take five points of damage. Ow! Are you knocked down? I'm getting tired I'm of this. Exactly at yeah, eight. I'm I'm line eight and eight with my endurance. Okay, you're not not you're not down then. Okay. I am getting a little tired of uh, this. Uh, Tatsuo, uh, this guy's, oh, take uh, this guy out. He keeps he keeps targeting me. <laughs> the Kage, mind if I tag in? Uh, uh, yeah, you, my you... character my character does not want to give up yet. <laughs> Kage right. is doing fine. He does not fine. look like he wants to give up yet. All right. 
I'll step in when things get really hairy, but I'll uh, like if he throws another shuriken at uh, Inoue, I'm gonna step in. So here's here's a suggestion: you can guard another target. That's what I All was right. gonna do. Which makes it more will... difficult for him to target anybody. And since you now know he's targeting Inoue, yeah, you... I'm gonna guard Inoue. What, what did I guard do? Inoue. <laughs> yeah, do y'all have your books uh -oh. out on page? Uh... 264, uh -oh. which tells you uh, what your actions are. 264? Yes. No. You can also offer words of encouragement and assist somebody in a combat action. Uh, Just to throw those things out there. Is you it have a lot of options you can do on your turn one person to that guard don't the same involve person? getting involved. Remember, this game is super complicated and you always yeah. need your book open. tactical, you should always read what your options are. Can I do an honest assessment on... Um... Uh, like uh, on um, <laughs> Kage. Yes, and you can get rid of that, you know, blind uh, one eye disadvantage he has. That disadvantage only work only affects me if only I'm doing if it range attacks. Applies. Well, uh, man. It's up to you if you really want to do that, or if you want to guard Anoi. That was weird. Or I just left. Mm -hmm. for some Read or the guard action. Offer Kage right, right. some or, or if you want to help me to help him exactly, out. Exactly. You can assist me by giving me an assist action. <laughs> All right, uh, hold on. I'm Our viewer KMJH says he senses weakness. <laughs> that's that's why he's going after a no way. Yeah, that's weakness. Weak link. <laughs> that's brutal. <laughs> Oh, well, I mean, I love the, I love the encouragement, though, man. He's physically not that <laughs> robust. Ouch, my pride. <laughs> Ow, my pride. <laughs> All right. Uh, man, so, like, for now, like, just to get the game moving, I'll just, like, guard uh, in a way in, in the moment, and then I'll probably offer an assist. Are oh, you okay. on water stance, or what stance are you on? I'm in fire. Last time I checked, so you can't do two actions. You can only do one, and guard is a rolled <laughs> action, so you have to roll tactics in order to do the guard check. Yes, you have to do a tactics check to guard. So what are it's what are your actions? It's one. What what okay. what were you doing? You're I was in fire stance. Okay, like, that's previously, fine. And I'm still in fire stance. So let me get and my. And what tactic. is your action? My you action is to guard in a way. Okay, that's fine. You can make a mm -hmm. TN1 tactics check. I didn't uh -huh. think you had a second. And when my next turn rolls around, I'll do an assist action. Okay, yeah. Or, can... or Nozomi can. Any of you can. You don't have action. Stop, oh, stop oh, it, Tarek. Tarek, quiet. Oh, dang. Zip it. He, he made his action. His action is to guard. Make a tactics check. Tactics fire. Um, hold on. Let me see. Yeah, I did tactics fire. And I'm you keeping both it. of the explosive successes and uh, the um, and the other die that come with it. And I'll also it's take the TN one, and you don't get bonuses for extras. Oh, you yes, don't? You do. Yes, oh, you do. Oh, wait, yes. yeah. One per two bonus successes. So how many successes did you get total? I got. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. Four successes. Four successes. And, uh, and one opportunity. Right. So, Anoe's uh, TN increases by two. two. Nice. Um. Yeah. Uh, Nozomi that happened. Is happy. Nozomi. Hmm. Since I see Tatsuo has moved in to protect Inoue, I will offer up some advice to Kage and tell him he seems to dodge to the right more aim towards his left <laughs> not a bad piece of advice take their advice with all that right. eye and all <laughs> I honestly didn't know guard and a guarding action was a thing so yay Learn read something the book. Me. Okay. Yes. Tell you every time we play, read the book. In no way. What are you doing? I don't know. Um, <laughs> I guard myself. <laughs> you can do that, by the way. 
Mm -hmm. Or you can you, you can't cast Path to Inner Peace on on a person more than once though. Oh, I'm aware. I can't cast it on myself. And the funny thing is, I didn't you take, can't take a calming breath too much strife. If you need to. I, I think I'll take another calming breath. Okay. Are you in water stance still? I never left it, so yeah. So that's that's what one one strife. Yes. And fatigue, correct? Mm-hmm. Okay. Anything else you're doing? Instead of uh, who's crunching I, on the microphone? Stop that. I you heard can also that. guard yourself. I'm crunching, okay, but so I don't think I it guess was I guess I guard myself. Just read the guard entry on page 264. On page 264. It's a tactics check, and it'd be tactics water for you. Tactics check. Tactics water. Martial tactics water, which I'm already in. <laughs> so. Bloop. So. All right, you get another plus one to your TN. That's it. Yeah. All right, Kage, take three points of strife. Yes. And I do as well. You guys are really striking getting it close up. To his, he should be getting close to his... I can't his. tell you anything. Well, I, I, you should be getting close. Where is yours? I am pretty close. All right. I got Don't my bid Don't tell that to your opponent. In. I got my bid in. You got your bid? Ready uh, and... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, yes, okay. I had my bid in. Okay, ready? Yep. Three, two, one... I go up to 16. He goes first now. Because he is less honorable. And he will take that strife. Okay. He will attack with a sword. Ooh. Okay. Um, you're st what stance are you in? Still in water stance, right? I haven't gotten my chance, okay. so I can't change it. I will take... I have to take the explosive success with the strife. And the success. And I'll take two opportunity. And I will do a critical hit. He's been gaining a lot of strife this whole time with his rolls, though. He will do... Have you been adding those in? <laughs> <laughs> Derek, I have a secret ability I can't tell you about. Also, you never know, he may have, like, a really high rank with lots of uh, composure. I have some secret abilities. They're pretty awesome. He's actually secret technique. a scorpion. <laughs> so I will do four points of damage, and then I will do a critical strike on you. I mean, he is actually a scorpion. It's a katana. So it's going to do the same back at you seven. So you're gonna have no, to no, no, no. He's only wielding it one-handed because he's using his other hand to throw weapons. Throw, throw shuriken. Shikur okay. So what is it then? It would be a base of five. Five. Okay. Let's it's a see. five. Katana damage is always four. Deadliness is five, and then plus two if it's two-handed. So make a uh, athletics roll. I'm sorry, a fitness roll? Fitness roll. Doo -doo -doo. It's going to be fitness the stance, so it's fitness water. Okay, give me one second. So I drop it by two? Yes. With up If you're keeping the two successes, you drop it by two, which means you'll take a flesh wound. You now have the lightly wounded condition. 
Um, would I be considered interfering if I were to throw a heal at him? And yes, you would actually. <laughs> the attack has a Rager Ed quality, so you also get the bleeding Leader. condition because this is a katana. Oh, this guy is bleeding. He needs to take his bleeding effect. No, he <laughs> didn't get hit. Remember, he, no, he missed. He keeps when he keeps. So he does take some more fatigue. Oh, I thought he didn't get hit. He's taking fatigue because yeah, he's bleeding out. Nope. Yeah, I know. Oh, wait, no, no, he didn't take that. He doesn't, he's not the bleeding damage. That's right. We retcon mm -hmm. that. We retcon mm -hmm. that. But Tarek, you are bleeding from the razor edge quality. And you are lightly wounded, which means increase the TN uh, of checks by with the affected ring, which is water, by one. Yep. Give me one second, though, because I'm trying to determine whether or not I should spend a void to try to cancel this. Um, I just got to read what the damage condition does for a, for a weapon. Oh, for a weapon, yeah. I don't know. Conditions. Is it after the armor? Yeah, it is. Increase mm. the checks used with it by one. Mm. I don't know if I want to do that mm. because that's basically the same problem. Okay, I'll take it. I get bleeding, and I get uh, the other thingy. That you said. Okay. Uh, Likely wounded. Plus one TN for for water. For water. Um, it's okay. your turn. It is now so your turn. So I will use my technique to uh, drop my fatigue by five, by my honor. Your fatigue, yeah. Yeah, I drop my fatigue by my honor, and then I will switch to fire stance. And I will attack him in fire stance. Okay. Wait, does fire stance fire stance means that you don't get okay. <laughs> if don't you get succeed, your strife that from your kept dice counts as extra successes. Yep. But you still take strife. You still strike. take strife. You need void not to take strife. And um I assisted you, so let's see. I so provide if you succeed, assistance. If you succeed, increase your degrees of success by one for each strife result. Which is a better way of saying it. So make your roll, Fire Stance Man. Okay. Um, and Okay. So um, okay. I will roll. And that's a miss. So, no. With uh, my oh, assistance? Yeah. Oh, your assistance. Yeah, you get an extra um, ring dice from assistance. Or skill die. You get an extra skill die for assistance. So you get one more die. Skill die. There you go, you got him! Three successes, you hit! <laughs> and I, well, four successes because of the extra. Oh, you're in fire, yeah. Yep. Four successes, so we'll take five points of damage. And you and slashed his close, zit. I'm really dangerously close to breaking my composure. And you really. have two opportunities there. I do have two opportunities, which will go to a critical strike. That'll work. So that'll be a seven and critical strike. He's an uh, air seven in critical strike, and there is plus two damage on the base, so it's uh, six damage, six fatigue, and then a critical strike of seven. Okay, he'll bring it down to a critical strike of uh, five. Permanent injury? So now he gets maimed. Yes. As a debilitating gash, he is severely wounded in the air ring. <laughs> um, ah, my ring! Yes, my ring! Oh! Oh, my air! Oh, what a 
severely wounded do. Oh, his TNs are up by three, three now. Three with that ring. Whoa. So basically, you hit him in the leg. They remove it. My leg. Oh, okay. And he's bleeding. He's bleeding. By the way, take a point of damage for every uh, strike you I took. took. I took I took a point of You took fatigue. a point of damage? Okay. Yeah. Now he is bleeding. Luckily, I'm very low on fatigue right now, so I should be fine. <laughs> That strife, though. The strife, though, is a real problem. And now you can't really you, use water. If you switch out, I can heal you. <laughs> well, I'm not hurt. Well, I'm bleeding. <laughs> but I'm not, like, I'm not, like, in a really bad place physically right. right now. I'm in a very bad place emotionally. <laughs> My Tatsuo. pride is hurt very badly. <laughs> Tatsuo. Okay, I'm debating on whether or not I want to take a calming breath or if I want to uh, uh, do an assist for uh, uh, for Kage. Let's see. Hmm. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe my bit of advice uh, to Kage as my assist uh, would be get him where he's uh, paying attention uh, the least to guarding. <laughs> yeah, that's very helpful. <laughs> Okay. By the way, your sword strikes have been apparently he has some something he's wearing underneath his uh, clothes that has been repelling your attacks. Oh. Like he's not he didn't take any damage. Oh no 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 he's he's taken fatigue damage. He's hurt, but not well, as hurt as it looks like he should be. Yes. <laughs> well, I mean, I've only hit him one time, so. Twice now. That... Twice. No one. Once. I've only hit him once. You you did Oh yeah, neck. somebody else did some. Oh you no, you got him with the Yari at first. Oh yeah, I did yeah. Hit him with the Yari at first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Tatsuo, what are you doing? He's using assistance. Okay, assistance it is. Nozomi. I'll trade places with him and guard our buddy. Okay, make your guard uh tactics uh whatever ring you're using. Tactics Earth. I'm gonna stay in Earth stance. Nice. And no way. Hey, I have stuff to re-roll. Go for it. Oh yeah, she could add even more. One, two, three. Okay, I didn't get two extras, so. It's, it's still a pretty high amount. It looks like I am keeping those two explosive successes with strife, and the the one success that came from them and an opportunity for a okay. total of plus two TN. Plus one TN. Plus one TN. And you need to have two extra successes. I did. That's a total of three successes that I'm Oh, keeping. yeah, you're right. You're right. Because it, it's a TN of one to begin with, right? And, oh, shoot. I scrolled way up. Let me check the opportunity table. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, in no way, what are you doing? Good question. <laughs> you need to figure this out before I, like I say your name. <laughs> What's that? You need to figure this out before I say your name. Oh. Yeah, that's what I've been I, doing all this time. <laughs> I use my opportunity to say, don't worry, I'll protect you. Reassuring him and giving him two strife back. There you go. You're, yeah, you, you've healed two strife. Ooh. In no way. Oh. I thought you were doing that for me. I was like, oh, thank God. <laughs> I, I can't really do that with you. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right, no um, way. Can I do that to, for him? If you have an opportunity, if you have an opportunity to do so. Does, uh, that's something we can do that? without <laughs> losing honor. Yeah, yeah. You said I lose two strikes. Right? You can sport. reassure people. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. You can yell in the into the into the battle. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm losing two strife, right? For, yes. For yeah. Yes. Okay. Um. Yeah. I'll <laughs> I'll give some support to. Kumakage. Okay, you yell in your support uh, and give him assistance. I know about the eye bit. Keep in mind of, of, of your flank. Okay. <laughs> oh, now is that assistance? It's the end of the turn. Both we both gain four strife. <laughs> uh, this is getting crazy. I break. Do you break? I also break. This is a <laughs> double 
This is a double hit. This is a finishing double blow loss. to end all finishing blows. This is yeah, Here's they your... both finishing blow at the same time. <laughs> I don't remember how a finishing blow works though. So. Um, okay. <laughs> Hold on. I got a lot of different windows. Okay, finishing blow. Like duels, use finishing blow, page 259. This is gonna be double deadliness. Oh shit. On both sides. Oi. 259. Finishing blow. Um, the first opponent becomes compromised or in mass. The character may immediately execute a finishing blow. A character executes a finishing blow by choosing an attack action and performing it against their opponent, interrupting anything the target is doing. Um, one finishing blow can interrupt another. Re read if, the last paragraph. If a That's where it's more. If two finishing blows simultaneously... The one with the lower honor fully executes it first. Oh, damn. Ooh. Yep. Then okay. the other one does theirs. It's a okay. dual objective. You have to make a... Is what stance are you in? Uh, currently, I'm in fire stance because I haven't had a chance to change. He hasn't had a chance to change either. He's in but air he's, stance. He gets, he gets a minus, a plus three difficulty to his check. I know. Point. It's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> oh, you got this. So make your uh, fire fitness roll, and well, he, have... he, he still has to make an attack roll. He makes an attack action. He goes first. No, it's just an. Um, hold on. Yeah, hold choosing on. an attack action, action and performing, performing it. it. Okay. Yikes! He's gonna spend his one void point on this. <laughs> <laughs> so he's gonna get an extra ring die here, because he needs. He needs five. five. <laughs> Which he could get. Okay. Especially with a roll like that. That's, uh, he keeps... Wait, that's air, right? Yeah, that's air. Okay, he keeps, um... Why does it say I keep five? Okay. Uh, that's not right. I rolled five one more. Five rings? And three oh, yeah, yeah, skill? he has an air ring of four. Yeah, that's right. Oh, oh, right. He used a void point. <laughs> he used a void point. Okay. So he's going to keep the four successes, and he needs one more success. So there's a chance. To even hit at all. Please, Buddha. <laughs> oh, there it is. There it is. So he's going to keep the four. Wait, he can't keep any with strife on him, can he? Yes, he can. Oh, Why he can? He just that? takes a bunch of fatigue. From breaking. Oh, he can't with break. He did break. He can't keep any of the. Yeah, you're right. Button. He broke, just like mm. you broke. He can't keep. So any there's a good chance that neither of you will hit. That so is a good point. he fails. He fails to hit you. Miserably. He does 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 he take from bleeding still, or he? Can't uh, keep them he's going to take nothing with strife on them. He's going to keep no dice with strife, so he does not go down. On their kept dice, yeah, okay. Yeah. So he's got two opportunities and a success. Yes, two uh, <laughs> two opportunities and a success. So, uh, what, what does that afford him? Well, yeah, okay, he's done. If <laughs> I go to void stance and I don't take oh. fatigue or strife, does that stop me from being able to keep them? Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm going to throw a shuriken because I can still do that with my two opportunity <laughs> at Nozomi. I'm in earth stance. You can't use opportunity Against to attack you, me. Against you, I can't. <laughs> I'm going to use it. Okay, I'm going to use it against Anoe. But Anoe gets a... Uh, Plus two. Yeah, you get two success. You only need to make a TN1 on this roll. So it's uh, fitness earth. You need to make one success. Oh god, why why with the successes? <laughs> Is it fitness earth? Please, fitness earth, you need to make one success. You did oh. it! As long as you take the strife with it. <laughs> okay, let me see how much strife I got. I mean Ah yeah, sure, why not? That's right. no problem. You might so be able to do something it? with that Yeah, you can reroll it. Hmm? Reroll. 
Because if you get an extra success, you can deflect it and it goes straight into his eye. <laughs> no. Oh my god. Another success. <laughs> Would you like to reroll that? Let's see where this you can goes. take the strife and reroll it. Yes. Well, you 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 do get out of the way. You take no damage this time. Two strife. Can you grab it? <laughs> Find out. I know the owner of this thing. All right, Kage, it's your turn to try and hit him back. Eventually, roll lots of successes question, with no strife. And try to strike in a void stand. You can't. You can't. That... You have to take a turn to change your stance. This is an interrupt action. It happens. Oh, this is an interrupt action. So I'm still on fire stance. You're still on fire stance. Yeah. And so even if I roll stuff with with stripe on it, I'm still kind of screwed. But I do <laughs> yes. have plus two skill to this, which is good. Um. I'm debating whether or not I should spend a void at this point. One, Zebra Tush. I have two, I have one three. void left, and should I blow it on this or should I blow it on defending myself? Should I miss? That's a good question. That is up to you. Well played, everybody. <laughs> I would probably use it use now. It to that's, yeah. my, that's, yeah. what that's what I, what I, I would do. <laughs> okay, I'll use it now. Here we go. That helps. Oh, look. That's you a got hit. two successes without strife on them. Um, But he's an air stance, so you need three. He's being assisted, though. Or did you yeah, roll the extra? Him. Did you roll the extra for the assist? Yeah, it looks like. One, two. I didn't roll the extra. Oh, no, I did. Yeah. I just didn't. <sighs> okay. Too bad. So your uh, fire is a two? My fire is a two, yeah. Okay. Well, um, you... hold on. Let me see if there's anything else I can do here. Maybe there's something. Somewhere out there in the void. Out there in the void of space, there is a place known as the Twilight Zone. Nope, it doesn't look like it. Nope. Okay. Uh, we both have to break composure. This is what happens when he breaks composure. He swings his sword around in his hand, turning it towards himself, and then guts himself right there and falls down. Ah! Wow. Kage, you have to now break your composure. Uh, okay. Mine is rage, and he just stole from me the opportunity to gain an honorable <coughs> win in this duel. <coughs> so I will, I will stomp forward and slice his head off, and <laughs> roar as loudly as possible. That's when I was going to try and heal the guy. <laughs> Screaming out as many obscenities and and curses to the gods as possible. Oh. By the way, he has a power that um, allows him not to receive strife. Whoa. Oh, really? Yeah. So all the shit that I was because doing... So right he could of... just bid however much he wanted? Well, no, the bidding still gave him strife. But me trying to manipulate him into giving him extra strife wasn't... wasn't yeah, good. yeah, one organ. Because he's fanatical. <laughs> That's oh, wow. his demeanor. He's fanatical. So, so Josh, I, I figured that somebody would try to resurrect him or, or heal him so that he wouldn't die and we could question him. But my character would be so mad at the fact that he stole that win from him <laughs> that he would walk up and say, fuck it, this guy doesn't deserve it, and just chop his head off. Mm. It's so, not a good thing when you unmask. And I will lose glory, I believe, for doing that. Yes. Equal to my glory rank. Yes. So, uh, shit, I lose five glory. So, uh, as his head but, comes off, it I, rolls I, I out of his on. mask, <laughs> and you all see who it actually is now. Ah. <sighs> And I'm pretty sure that got a lot of people's attention. The skirmish got a lot of people's attention. 
Somebody, if not the roars and cursing the yeah. gods. Yeah, uh, Sumiko sure. appears. She walks out of the castle because she saw the, the battle champion? from above. Yeah, the ruby champion. Um, she looks down at the person who's dead and doesn't say anything. She instead turns to all of you and says, are you all okay? Mm. I will I'm fine. my Kiho in the meantime. I, I fall to one knee. By the way, is there any thing, what happens if you, like, what happens at the end of the duel? I don't know what happens. <laughs> well, anyway. you are bleeding. I'm bleeding out really badly and uh, I, I fall to the knee, fall to like one knee and I spit blood out of my mouth, and I go, I'll be fine. <laughs> traitor. I'll, I'll throw a heal at traitor. you. I'll roll for heal? Uh, just, it's, it's a good. medicine check. Um, Path to Inner Peace only renews your vigor and gives you more uh, fatigue. You'll want to yeah. bind him up with uh, bandages using a medicine check. Yeah, and, medicine check. Um, well, before you do that, uh, yeah. Sumiko says, take him back to the apartment and, and do his medicine, uh, do his first aid there. Okay. Um, does anybody search the guy? Um, it would be it unbecoming to <laughs> touch him, you know, right? I, I, I'm willing, I'm willing to lose honor or glory and ju just to see, you know, the heck is up with this guy, so... Whatever. Okay. Like, I I did almost nothing in this battle, so I'm like, you know what? That's the target. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what's your honor? What's what's your honor? Uh, my honor is 41. Okay, lose two points. You find on him um some vials of green liquid. Mhm. Mm well, um, that matches the poison we saw. There's also some uh, some more letters on here mm -hmm. that match the handwriting you found in the cave in the secret room. Ah. But more unsettling, there are some papers with graceful calligraphy in the familiar blue ink. Oh. This so was the guy he was talking to. Blue ink? Yeah, this is Satsume's correspondent. He was corresponding with somebody. They were talking about the state of the empire and how terrible things were getting. Sumiko says, I'll make sure the hymen come and clean this up. I'll be looking forward to your report tomorrow morning. All right. Uh, it seems it will be an interesting one. Report now, but no, seems we're going to have to let this, ha uh, let this pass over. Do we Correct. now? Do we already know who it is now? After the, the beheading. <laughs> yeah, he, yes, said, the he mask said the mask fell, fell down, and we mm -hmm. saw it was. Okay. I love it. Well, I, 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 I am very frustrated that you dragged me back to the, to the apartments. Josh. I guess it's Sight. time to head back to the apartments and see to the report. <laughs> I try to comfort you as best as I can. Okay. I'm gritting my teeth, but it looks well, like it's do? less due to the pain and more due to frustration out of the whole situation. Mm. Okay. Okay, well. y'all head back to the apartment where you can do first aid. It's going to be, a, I believe, a TN2. Okay, but that gets reduced down, or no? Because and can of my... I assist? Um... Hold yeah, on. people can assist. Okay. It's a TN2 medicine earth check. And people can earth. use a support action to help you, giving you extra ring or skill dice, depending on if they are skilled or not. Yeah, I'll not tell you, I'm not here. here. <laughs> you can get a ring you, I don't think you can assist yourself. Probably okay. not. That's fair. Okay. So <laughs> I'm getting a skill since he doesn't, he's assisting, but he doesn't have a skill in medicine. You would get, a, you get ring. a ring die from me. A ring die, gotcha. And I will help you out too. 
I also okay, so have that... no ranks. So, so you get two, two more rings. ring dice. Okay. Rolling now. All right. That'll it, that'll cure him of his bleeding. Right. He's all fixed up. No lost limbs. He even regrew his eye. <laughs> no. Yeah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> that ship is long sailed. <laughs> or so you think. Pretty sure. <laughs> that was a really Spirit. awesome epic duel at the end where you both missed <laughs> your <laughs> final strike. <laughs> you both had each other dead to rights, but you were so mad and wounded you couldn't do anything about it. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. That's like, and that's yeah, the I, whole I, I, reason why Kage is super upset because he knows, as a perfectionist, as somebody who has really bad anger problems, he does not feel like he lived up to what he should have done. I was super curious on why he kept on attacking me at me. Now we can't. Find I can out tell you me. why. To try huh? to get us to. What? Jump in. You're a Shugenja. Right? Right. You have magic spells that can do all sorts of insane stuff. Mm. Including wow. heal people in the battle. He was targeting you to get rid of the biggest threat. <laughs> huh? I didn't think I would be considered a threat since I'm like... I can't defend myself properly. Well, you can kill me, so, but but your threat is the the, in he he can't account for you. Everybody else he can account for, right? The he mm -hmm. gonna smash something. The Dagashi is probably gonna do some crazy Kiho thing and punch him. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try to chop him up. But you you can do all manner of crazy things that he can't predict for. Well, I had a resurrection spell, so we can't do. hold him accountable. <laughs> if only. Which means I have to get into my school more. Ah! So, uh, what do you all do tonight? You gotta come up, you gotta make a report. Yep. You have to discuss okay. that. Now is the time to discuss what you're gonna do. So basically, report. I discuss my findings on what I found on his body, like, you know, the vials of liquid, the letters that I found on him. Like, are there any specifics on test? what the letters say yeah like yeah, i want to like i want to know like you know what the letters on him said to see if we could glean any um uh like like you know anything as to why he was heading um heading towards <laughs> you know the cores of the ruby champion masked let me see those <laughs> papers all right i'd hand them over to you so uh, so you can take a look okay Oh, great voice in the sky. What do they say? <laughs> oh, so? um, they're propaganda. Ah. They say stuff like, um, uh, they, they, they basically say that, uh, man should be free of the grip of the kami, that, um, you know, uh, are they that in agreement? You need to take your own destiny into your own hands. That, you know, that that kind of stuff. Are, are okay. they in agreement? Are they what? In agreement? No. And they're not. So they're they're still come. The stuff in the blue is is basically uh, correspondence. Uh, the same kind of correspondence you found on your first day of the. The more worry about the colot. Yeah, yeah. Do I recognize that 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 handwriting beyond, like out of all the the writing that I've seen? Yeah, all the writing matches. The stuff in the blue is obviously uh, the Emerald Champion, and the stuff uh, that's the colot stuff is the same some, same guy. This, okay. The, this this uh, hidden serpent. The hidden serpent. Okay. Okay, so Kage will say it's obvious to me that the man that we killed on the bridge was, or near the bridge, was the hidden serpent. And it is obvious that Satsume was on to this Kolat conspiracy and was trying to 
root out the the members of this conspiracy and perhaps the hidden serpent discovered this information and targeted Satsume so that this information would not get out. Mm. It is my opinion that they seek to to further the divisions within the Empire. And having Satsume call out their conspiracy would do the opposite. Would help to unify uh, the, the clans against this common foe. Whether or not the clans will see to it the same from lesser voices, I cannot say. Hmm. Well, that is certainly how it appears to me. Likewise. <laughs> Not that I've done well in our law classes. <laughs> we've gotten, we've got, we've gathered plenty of evidence. And though this man has no testimony to give any longer, no. I'm sure that it will go far in the eyes of um, the Ruby Champion. Well, we have even more evidence to, to support the fact that he is trying to um, uh, break us apart, our plans apart, by posing as different. I believe um, he's using that as a way to to navigate the castle freely. Amongst other things. If he disguised himself as different clans members, he would have a reason to, to move about the castle as freely as he would like. Yeah. It's probably how he got so close to Satsumi to begin with. Very true. Well, we have uh, the correspondence, have the, the poison, hidden. those hidden shinobi weapons and clothing still in the that s secret room. I have one lingering concern, and that is, was he acting alone? <laughs> that is the question. He seemed have to have the notes. trust of others within the, 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 the castle, whether they knew he was a part of this conspiracy or not. I think it's likely yeah. there are others. I have a feeling that there are others throughout the Empire, and that's what concerns me the most. They could have been pa just pawns, though. From what I read in the law, I guess I didn't share this with you all, but I, while we were researching for our law exams, before we met with the Mia, I took time in the library to research this Kolod conspiracy, and perhaps what I discovered there is what gives me the most distress. This is a long-standing conspiracy, one that has roots far deeper in the in the Empire than we may have initially assumed, which is why I feel so distressed by this news, and the fact that one was so close to the Emerald Champion, the one who guards the, the laws of this very land, that tells me that this conspiracy could go very deep and very far. In fact, Satsume himself, in one of the letters we gathered, suggested a concern that even the Imperial families themselves may be infiltrated. <laughs> this gives me great pause. Well, the truth should be in the forefront, then, in our report. Even, um, even unfounded ones, that it, it would give caution to anyone who is, who is going to further pursue it. Because we, uh, you know, you've been only given the task to actually um, look up information for it, not find an arrest or anything. That was not what we've been asked to do. We were simply asked to investigate the cause of Satsume's death. Exactly. But what we have discovered is a far broader conspiracy. Which still connects it to him. It does. So... But does that clear the name of um, the former Emerald Champion? I do not believe the Emerald Champion was involved with this conspiracy. I think he was involved in trying to root it out. Okay. And does that clear the name of his daughter? 
From what I can tell, she did not seem to be aware of what caused his downfall, but that does not mean that she had no knowledge of the Kolot conspiracy as a whole. But that is not mm. something we can confirm nor deny, and speculation will do us no well. True. In this, Indeed. perhaps the first time in my life, I can surely say, without further evidence, we cannot, we can neither trust anyone else nor condemn anyone else before we can confirm their involvement with this conspiracy. So how would we clear, clear their names and his family? Because that was our alternative goal too. I do not believe this has anything to do with him nor his family in more in anywhere more than his understanding of this conspiracy. But do we have any evidence to? There was concern and suspicion that Hotaru was involved. Yes. And Kuanan was involved. The Kuanan was the brother of, mm -hmm. of Hotaru. Um, we have unearthed no evidence linking them to this crime. Instead, we have right. evidence to show the opposite. I have more information. Apparently, I have what these handwriting notes say here. Okay. Oh, well, that might change everything we just said. Yes, so. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. How do we cover this up? <laughs> yeah. If a PC found Satsumi's papers, they realize the writing style is identical. These are correspondence with someone he calls his friend and peer at Odo Sanuchi, the imperial capital. In them... Satsume says he is convinced that the two Imperial heirs are totally unsuited for rule, one being too cruel and the other too weak. Such thoughts, while not formally Kolot, are still blasphemy against the rule of the Divine Hantai family. Whoever his high-ranking correspondent is, that person seems to have encouraged such dangerous beliefs, but became upset when Satsume indicated he had a possible solution to the matter which would keep the Empire stable. This goes into the letters you found in his room that said he was worried about the state of the Empire. Yeah, and and was concerned with the Imperial family. Satsume's words assured him all will be well and the Empire will endure, but are still highly heretical and treasonous. If possible, the assassin... Oh. Um... That's it. Hmm. Okay, oh, so okay, let so me, let me summarize idea. from Kage's perspective. While Satsume wasn't a part of the conspiracy, it is very likely that the person he was conversing with was. Regardless, the things that they were discussing are heretical and blasphemous. And should it be revealed that Satsume was a part of the, was party to these discussions, his name and the name of his family members will be called into immediate doubt. That is where we must, where in order to honor Satsume, we would need to hide evidence. But that same evidence could be used to condemn and root out the source of information uh, who was taking part in these correspondence. As you say this, Tarek, it leaves a bitter taste in your mouth as your Ningo is, as your Ningo, uh, nin Ninjo is about. Yeah, exactly. So gain some gain two points of strife. And I, I don't even want to do that. I'm, I want to say something in, in, in exchange because my character is, is say, says that, right? If we hide this information, we'd be protecting Satsume. And Everybody, if we don't... camera moved around. My camera didn't move. Did somebody I, lose? Oh, yes. Uh, uh, Josh lost connection and came back. Yeah. So everybody's so tag is wrong now. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I? Uh, you were the Tagashi. I am Tatsuo. <laughs> uh, well, even so... nine was messed up. Oh yeah, yeah. So... Everyone I'm moved around. <laughs> while, while, while Corey fixes that, here's what here's what Kage will say. If we hide this information, we may protect Satsume, but in doing so, we are also protecting this conspirator in the Imperial City. That conspirator may be a member of this conspiracy. And if we protect him, we do no service to the Empire. I'd from rather my opinion, what good is the name of one man in return for the state of the Empire? If we are to report this, I suggest we re-report all of the information as we found it. 
there you I'm go. in agreement. Is there a way in which we could protect both? Protect both? The Empire and the Emerald Champion's good name. Hmm. If there is a solution, I can't figure one out myself. I perhaps could come up with one, but I will waste no time in doing so. If you wish to do so, leave it amongst yourself. Or perhaps leave it amongst the judgment of the, the Ruby Champion. Let it weigh on her conscience. But I will be, take no party to it. <laughs> I have bled for this truth. We have all bled for this truth. Hmm. Well, I, I would just probably go with the best course of action. Just give the facts as they are and let the Ruby Champion sort, uh, sort out the information. <laughs> my, my gut feeling is that we, uh, we might uh, become involved in this uh, conspiracy if we do get admitted as Emerald Magistrates. <laughs> might become we, may, we may be involved in this conspiracy even if we don't. We as a possibility. We already got ourselves we, in. Not, go ahead. Sorry, Josh. What would you say? No, no. I was just saying. Some, uh, we already were tasked with this to get involved in, in the first place, not just with the spirit of him, but also with um, figuring out his death being attached to this whole conspiracy in the beginning. It is and, our duty as samurai <laughs> to stand up in defense of the Empire. The Lion Clan's duty as a whole is to protect this empire from those things that might draw it apart. The crabs stand the wall to protect the empire, not their own honor. It is our duty to act in defense of the empire. While it could be said that there, the divisions in the Imperial family or in the inheritors of the line may cause further turmoil. Hmm. That is not for us to decide. Well, if you want to pull, uh, pull out a wheat, you have to pull it out by the roots before it spreads any further. I agree, and I'm sure this will not be the last we hear of this Kolot conspiracy. I'm sure. In a way, Nozomi, you, uh, you're right with uh, telling the Ruby Champion the truth, because I'm willing to report everything that we found so far. I feel the best course of action is indeed to simply present all of the evidence. All right, then I believe we're in agreement. All right. On to the next day. You wake up. We don't get assassinated while we sleep. No. <laughs> you wake up. Not it's the me. <laughs> you wake up. You eat your breakfast. You, and you, you make awake your way to find Shiba-san. To dead yeah. with green next, goo in his morning, ear <laughs> i am very very quiet and pensive not my normal jovial self so after breakfast once again you are in the ruby champions private rooms though now you feel much more seasoned than you were when you first arrived at the palace sumiko mm, has removed seasoned. her armor and is wearing a more comfortable kimono she gestures for you to begin and sits back in anticipation of your gathered evidence and conclusions All right. So, like, I will go ahead and present uh, her the, uh, yeah, the we'll stuff that I found on the body, and we'll present all of the evidence pieces of evidence that we've gathered so far. So, all the letters that we found, clothing, the, the clothing, the the weapons store, the letters, the the, the hidden conspiratorial um, messages, the locations we found them in, as much of the 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 straightforward truth yes as we can and you tell her that uh that he was poisoned by the kolot and that he was poisoned by the kolot sumiko looks closely at each of you and offers a slight sigh are you certain of your findings she asks i see much here 
But I feel strongly that you should reconsider your determination of this matter. Sumiku looks at you earnestly. It seems she expects something else. Mm. Tagashi Tatsu, Okomakage, take a point of strife from that. <laughs> you both have reasons that you don't like that at all. <laughs> mm. I mean, we already told her about the secret room uh, in the uh, in the granary, he's right? Saying, he's saying your Ningyo. Oh, Ningo. Look at your Ningo. Enjoy the pleasures of life, all the spices. No, 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 not that, not that. <laughs> you have something in your background where, uh, remember, where magistrates were doing something dishonorable in your eyes? Do you not remember this? You have a... Go, go look at your 20 questions. Mm. I'm sure one of those has what he's talking about. I know that, I know what he's talking about with me. My, uh, the duty to my lord? You or? have an intolerance to courtiers because you saw a courtier, you saw a magistrate give out uh, a bad judgment and you took and you stole his uh, jite, remember? Oh. Okay, yes. I'm trying to remember uh, where is that? Anxieties? Intolerance? Uh. Intolerance. After performing a check to interact with a courtier, you receive th three strife. <laughs> Damn. I should have been well, doing that to it. you a lot more. <laughs> huh? I should be doing that to you a lot more. Yeah, you gain three strife when when you make a check. But right now, just because it hits on close to the home of this, I'm going to give you a strife. Oh, one strife. I, okay. I look. Remember, so you, you you've no all point? slept. You slept, so you have no strife or fatigue right now. Mm -hmm. I, I look her straight in the face very earnestly and say uh, Agashasama you are the ruby champion and acting emerald champion we are simply servants and students to the empire and to the emerald champion we provided, or we performed a task that you gave us, and we gave you the information you requested. What you do with that information is your choice. She looks at all of you and says, are you all in accordance on this? Yes, we are. Very well. I see, she says with a somewhat disappointed expression on her face. Thank you for your work, and once again, congratulations on completing your training. The cases that await you should hopefully be more instructive. Uh, it's now time for your graduation ceremony. Uh, I was hoping uh, I was hoping to kind of stay behind and like kind of uh, kind of ask because I'm a little inquisitive as to what she uh, was looking f uh, for further. <laughs> He was looking for us to, to absolve Satsumi. Oh. That's exactly oh. what she wanted. Ah, okay. I, that... I told her basically that I wasn't willing to do it, but if she wanted to do it herself, I'm not going to stop her. Mm. So. But that's on subtext. her. Subtext. I, even I can't read it. <laughs> <laughs> a very small crowd is gathered in the garden under a bright sky. It feels like Lady Adamarasu, the sun goddess, is surely watching over the event. Agasha Sumiko, now in, in her impressive ceremony armor, stands before her and several other students set to gain the title of the Emerald Magistrate. The people who gain the title of the Emerald Magistrate, the two names that are spoken of your four, is Akomakage and Shiba Inoue. So those are the ones that yep. uh, obtained the title of an uh, Emerald Magistrate? Yep. Both Nozomi uh, and Tatsuo, you both failed at two tasks. Ooh, what were they? Uh, you <laughs> failed in the martial arts task. <sighs> and this last one, and Nozomi failed in the first one and the third one. Mm. I believe, Wonderful. right? Wonderful. Right? Huh? Well, it... that's correct for me. Wait, hold on. Did you get a peasant weapon? 
Uh, like no, unfortunately, I had like uh, I couldn't win against a scorpion. That's creature. right. That's what I thought. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm correct. Ah, man. Um, since you failed at two of them, you did not graduate. But Shiba Noe and Ikoma Kage, you are now Emerald Magistrates, and that is a new title on your character sheet. There should be a place for a title. Anyway, I could try to retake uh, the entrance <laughs> exams. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta wait to, to wait for the next year. the entire investigation. Uh, <laughs> if you tasks. absolved Satsume, you would have all graduated to Emerald Champion. Or Emerald Magistrate, not Emerald Champion. Emerald Magistrate. Oh, of course. Nepotism. But no, it's you the guys hidden gotta test. stick by your guns. And <laughs> well, as, as I said before, we, we while we were talking, that's where Kotokage was coming from. If y'all had a different perspective, you could have no, um, they wanted. They, everybody was in accordance on this. Everybody wanted to do this. Mm -hmm. Well, I was actually. Well, at least we're keeping our honor. I just stuck with it because, yeah. All right, you guys get new abilities too. Ooh. Really? With your new titles. Let's abilities. see if I can. Do we gain find... any honor or glory? Hold on. <laughs> oh my god! I lost a lot of glory this game. So <laughs> you're you're so. Uh, I'm what's needy. it called? I'm needy. Yeah, greedy here. Oh, no, needy. I said needy. I'm gonna open up the PDF. I'm needy. Could have. Here, and just cut and paste it. Okay, Emerald, new title, Emerald Magistrate. Okay, I'm gonna copy it, and I'm going to paste it into here so that's what you guys get one rank in any scholar skill or martial skill to gain 10 status a scholar Two. social or martial arts skill and status um, and voice of authority and her scrutiny Uh, hmm. That's what you get. You get 10 status. Oh, 10 status. Okay. I was still reading. So we get one in each? One in scholar, one in social, and no, one in four. Martial? I think four. it's a, Yeah, one one, or the other. No, you, you each can gain one rank in scholar, one rank in any social, or one rank in any martial arts skill. It says so it has to be one. One. Yes. Yes. One something. One skill. So. Hmm. And these abilities, where where do we? Where, where, do we They're in the adventure. That's the only place you can find them. Okay, I was gonna say where, where do we paste. put them? Do we just under, under your techniques? Under your techniques. Oh, okay. Mm. Are they like? Hey, you know, I, I want to ask Corey. Is there any way, like, maybe uh, sometime in the future, we could do like a custom game, like, or maybe even if I have to do a solo game where I have to do my own investigation to try to get to the, or try uh, to retry no, for Emerald you, Magistrate. You failed the Emerald Magistrate. There's a different fate in store for you, sir. Oh. Ooh. You get thrown off the mountain. What? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I think I'll take some in fitness because those dodges. <laughs> <laughs> I know the feeling, man. I know the feeling. Okay. This also gives you a chance to not waste your uh, experience points for advancement on something out of rank. Yeah. <laughs> um, what is this voice of authority and harsh scrutiny? Yeah, that would be under what skills? I'm putting them under Shuji, um, because it, they seem both like social skills. Social yeah. Skills. So, Shuji, y'all can do this a little later. We'll get back to this. All right. Harsh scrutiny. Um, with your report concluded. Um, and. 
uh, your new position as Emerald Magistrate secured. Or not secured, whatever the case may be. Uh, as, Half secured. As the day moves on, you can see Kage calling out commands to his assistants just like when you arrived. Kaji. Kaji. You realized he is missing one of his assistants. There are only nine now. He keeps looking up worriedly. Above, he above him, you can see Sumiko watching him like a cat who has caught a mouse. Mmm. Good. Um, you overhear uh, lots of chatter later in the day. When you ask someone... It seems that the Ruby Champion has released her long-awaited official declaration concerning the Emerald Champion's recent death. After much reflection and review, she has confirmed that the death was from natural causes. Alright. Of course, no reason to spread panic. That or night... Or make yourself a target. Your uh, last night for Tagashi Tatsu and Hida Nozomi at the Emerald Palace. Man, I was really as hoping. You, as you look out over the balcony of your uh, apartment, you can see Satsume walking alone across the bridge. His ghost vanishes. And you feel as if you probably will not see him again. Well, I hope he can move on. Thanks, music, for punctuating that really <laughs> nicely. That was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I was Very thinking well it. <laughs> so everybody gets uh, one, two, three. F I'm going to give everybody four XP for this game. Wow, that's a lot of XP. Mm. We're the beginners, and now we move on to one XP per hour. <laughs> Ooh, I now have enough XP to rank up once I spend them. Same here. I might be able to get to rank two. Uh, I might be a little shy of it. Actually, five. Five. Okay. Six, seven, eight. Eight experience points. Whoa! You oh, get wow. eight experience points for finishing this adventure. Holy poo! Wow. I, I could spend them all on, on an page. out of rank thing and still only be one shy. There you guys but go. But I'm not gonna do that. XP Lucky. bonanza for everyone. Wait, wow, that's eight. a lot of XP. Eight XP. Eight XP. <laughs> we might all level up at this point. Yeah, we might, should. Just don't spend it all on out of rank stuff. I don't know. That is not. So, um, everyone, uh, if you've got a title on page, um, where is it? Tenants of Bushido. Emerald. Well, in, in the in the book, it there's a place where it talks about titles. Ah, here we go. Page three hundred five. You'll find your Emerald Magistrate uh, title and your uh, the school or the school ability. Your yeah. curriculum there for Emerald Magistrate. Okay. Okay. As for the two that didn't make it, you'll be uh, having to leave, but don't worry, you'll be back for the next adventure. We'll do a little time skip. You guys are now fully trained. I want to thank everybody for playing. I hope you had a blast with so much fun. In the Palace of the Emerald Champion. Uh, if you're watching, thanks for watching. I'm glad to have you here. I hope you have been enjoying it. Um, from all of us, I'm Corey, Josh, Tarek, Matt, and Crystal. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. I'm going to try again.